All right, we are back with uh, with the adventures of Tom Brader. Tom Brady. Tom Brady. Tom. Yeah, he's going on adventures. He's hunting like for tombs and shit. Tom. Tom Bomba Bray. Tom Bombadil. Tom <laughs> Bombadil. Do, do, do. The weirdest character awesome. from Lord of the Rings. Yeah. It's kind oh, of just shit. the result of being an afterthought. I, I right? realized. I realized that maybe I should. I should show the share the share the screen. So I should oh, yeah. do that. <laughs> You to show like the uh, game window, right? Yeah. Oh, I should, so I yeah, we're did rare case. We're doing two streams in one weekend. Yeah. Uh, I hope that doesn't say too too bad about me. What is that? Okay, kill. Wow. We already saw the end. Oh, you did you want to see the intro for again? Just oh, because you fine. missed it. Okay. No, I, I watched it on YouTube during the previous stream. Yeah. All right, so we're trying to finish up Greece and then get in probably the. Uh, I want to see if I can finish the game today. I don't know if I can though, considering how the levels are. So this is a uh, the cistern. Guess what kind of level this is? Uh, probably not as cool as the Zelda cistern. Oh, oh, it's a sewer level. <laughs> this game has one of those. Rats fortunately aren't so bad. You said the uh, settings are the same. I'm gonna take just a minute to double check uh, yeah, do audio that. on stream again. Yeah, do that. At least the at least the the uh, network didn't shit itself this time. So far. Hello, Darian. Hey, Darian. I like the ambient here, though. Oh, I fucking need that. <laughs> How am I gonna do yeah, this? Yeah, seems fine. Damn it, I need the block. <clears throat> yeah, one thing that uh, Skyward Sword definitely was not lacking in was the uh, dungeon design. As far as I as far as I hear from most people, they really like the dungeons in that game. Yeah. I probably would enjoy him. No, consider well, everything considering. Okay, and then one more. It's weird that I enjoyed it because it's really not a game with much exploration, it's kind of just designed to be a constant string of dungeons and puzzles. Yeah. This is this is kind of what like so kind of like this game. Yeah. Yeah. This is the Tomb Raider is the Skyward Sword of of a uh... except that uh Skyward had it it did have like Skyloft which oh, crap. was like the the hub area with all the NPCs. So we we went but from fighting nice. We went from fighting lions and shit to just rats. Just giant rats. Big ass rats. This Principal Nezu was one of these. Whatever he was. Okay. So, down here now. Okay, welcome to the main room. We got a, we got a pit. Oh no, it's not bottomless, it's got water. I gotta be careful here because this is the only part of the game you can soft block yourself in. Oh, how how does that happen? I don't remember, which is why I gotta be really careful. Okay. Oh, there's an alligator I've, down there too. Probably kill I've everything. heard that it's technically possible to soft lock yourself with small keys in the water temple. I've never done it. Yeah, it's like uh, running out of keys. It's like some guy talking about how man, I was playing in Ganon's. Uh, This level, I I, I want to say this. Uh, it's a good thing we're getting this level out of the way first. I fucking hate this level. I yeah. never, I can never remember exactly what order to do things in, and I, every single time, this is the what? This is worse than a sewer level. This is the water temple of of uh, of of a uh, Tomb Raider. And you waste a lot of time going the wrong way. I'm imagining. Fortunately, uh, there's water, like uh, there's water, there's a water puzzle. You only have to toggle it once, and that's I think that's the crux of the soft block. Okay, keys. I need keys to open doors. Huh? Okay. I finished uh, Ocarina Time, a run for uh, achievements today. How, uh... First time doing a three heart run. And it's actually hard on three hearts. Oh yeah? How's that? How'd... I bet. I bet. Like one hit kill. Yeah, I had to like think about his damage tables. I'd actually bring green potions. Hey, did you know potions can be useful? Oh yeah, uh, if you're if you need them. 
And I guess we go over this way. Money's not a thing in this game. This game, no, you don't. You don't need to really buy anything. <laughs> you should be able to collect sports points instead. Uh, in the next game, you can you can get uh you can get like secret like artifacts. They don't really do anything. They're just there to like get secrets. The sport. Yeah, that's what she does it for. For canonically, doesn't do it do it for the money. Does it for sport. I can't wait for the Tomb Raider game where uh, people who do do this for the money are there, and she gets mad at them for doing it for the money. <laughs> uh, amazingly enough, every every villain in like the in like the original trilogy, they're just there for like they got a, a purpose, except for one who I think is in it for the money, and and she ends up like sucking like the worst shit out of all of them. Is a uh... Are there are there anyone trying to like rule the world with ancient artifacts, or are they just here for the same exact reason she is? Uh, are they just competing treasure hunters? Okay, good. I, I I good thing I did it this way. We get we unlock we get a key early. This is a game where it pays to like just obsessively check every corner. It's like I grew up with this game, and you get on me for like, hey, uh, well you gotta check everything, man. There there could be something I, I important there. That. No, no, not in this game, but like, but like in the in the past, <coughs> and for like. Anyway, it, when we were playing uh, Byro and shit. Okay. Or, okay, what were we talking about? Sorry, I interrupted you. Uh, I, I was saying, are the are there any bad guys in this game who are trying to like rule the world with ancient po powers, or are they just competing treasure hunters? It's a spoiler. Uh, to talk about it, but considering that, like, she's was willing to betray Laura for, I don't know if this is the trap or not, uh, she was willing to betray Laura to, like, get the thing, it's probably a good bet. Okay, I can't go up there yet. Oh, yeah, even if they're competing treasure hunters, they're more underhanded about it than she is. They tried, they're trying to literally kill her, like... It's, it's yeah, it's one of those things where it's, like, where it's like they're just trying to kill her to like get the thing and everybody else is just like if it, let me tell you this if they just were wanting to get it for a museum they'd like they'd like give her a grant regardless of whether she wants to do it for sport okay okay we're all hunting talismans but we're Jackie Chan and they're Valmont uh i mean the sky on in and of itself doesn't seem to do anything uh yet so, okay, uh, I think next up we just gotta go into the water. What a great villain Valmont was for one season. Valmont was Before he started just sucking shit yeah. season by season. Yeah. Not in the way that he's an asshole, but in the way that he just, like, got more and more pathetic. I, I, I used the term, did that, okay, no, it didn't clip, he didn't clip out, he went through a hole. I was like, what the fuck? Uh, I use the term sucking shit for when a, uh, a character is, like, utterly just an, just, like, an asshole. Like, if a guy... Morally reprehensible. Yes. Um. Oh, this is a secret. Which, the miraculous villain has been doing both simultaneously. Yeah, I... He's I, just I, been I, turning into a horrible, horrible person. You suck but shit. But also being less and less competent. You suck shit if you, uh... If you, like, are being, like, really more, morally reprehensible, you eat shit if you fuck up royally. He, he, he was planning to turn his son into a monster, but then he backpedaled in order to give him an item which would then make him a stronger monster before going through with it. Yeah. You don't do that if you really love someone. Hear that shit? I hear some- it's a Sculptula. There's a Sculptula in this room. Holy hell, that was one pixelated looking key. Oh yeah. <laughs> the graphics get better. I did- I did double check. The graphics do get better. Um... Okay, I'm not- sp I'm not this supposed to be here yet. Uh, I don't think so, which makes- which honestly makes the animations kind of more impressive. It was 96. I don't think they had, like, like really sophisticated mo-capping in 96. Okay. So we're not supposed to be here yet. 
Uh, which means that the key we got was gonna have to go up there. You see how I have trouble with this level? This level is designed like a fucking nightmare. The Romans, the Romans slash Greek slash whoever slash pygmy slash whoever the fuck built this. They built this like a fucking nightmare. Just... I like how they keep the corpses just as long as possible, just for realism. Yeah. It, it kind of looks like it gets in the way. Yeah, I the only one that had collision was the T-Rex. I don't think the alligators, like, have collision. You know... I gotta remember how to, uh, how to do this. Wait, oh! I didn't go up here yet, did I? Alright. Uh? The cistern. What's the, what's the definition of a- OH GOD IT'S FUCKING PIER! <laughs> what are you doing in the sewer? I thought- Who does he- who does he look like? Uh... We were talking about this last time. Looks like it could be a miraculous villain. Okay, no. I think he's dead. Oh he no, the rest! Like a specific character. It, not quite the dude from Iron Giant. Okay, I'm just gonna go this way. Oh, wait, which dude from Iron Giant? I haven't seen the, the artist. in so long. It kind of, it, a little bit like Gordon Freeman, but that's not who I'm thinking of. Oh, got a rat. Can the rats at least dog paddle? They can't, like... Okay. A cistern is a tank for storing water, especially one supplying taps or as part of a flushing toilet. Okay. It's a toilet tank. It's also an underground reservoir for rainwater. Okay, good. Another key. All right, so we got two keys. Can I get this from here? Okay, I know what to do. I think between this and Skyward Sword, they're using it to describe something where uh, the water level changes. Yeah. So the water temple is a cistern, by the video game logic. The water temple is a cistern, and it was retaining too much water, so that... You know what? It's good we're fighting these things. I, I would be surprised if there were, like, fucking lions. Yeah. It's just, this is a nice break from the from the hell that was the Lion-Gorilla Alliance. <laughs> Alright. Uh... I wonder if there's something all the way down to the left. Uh, this... Yeah, so this, this level does have, like, a changing water level, but it's not that sophisticated. It only works once. Okay, okay so I'm, that, that'll go out... Alright, I get I get it now. I get how this, this works. I'm sorry if I'm not fully understanding this game's complexities, because I, I have been seeing these levels and just giving up on trying to understand them immediately. <laughs> what? That's the thing. Hello? Hello? You can hear me, can't you? Okay. It. Yeah, I, I imagine how it was when I was a kid. I look at, I took, take one look at this level, and I, and my brain immediately gives up. I'm like, I, I can't understand this. This, this is like non. -Euclidean. I would have to be playing this and also like paying a hundred percent attention to it to really, like, figure out where things are and what's going on, which clearly I'm not. Yeah, I. This is. You know what? I had trouble with. It, this kind of tracks because I had a lot of trouble like trying to figure out where I was going in Spyro as well. So yeah, I guess I guess this makes us even. Because Spyro, it just there was just a lot going on. I got like confused as hell. How frustrated do you suppose you would be if I were playing this game? I'd be pretty pissed. I'd be. Yeah. Pretty... Well, it's it just that... to be a way longer stream. It would be, which is probably like a good reason why we. Alright, I think I can make it from here just by, just from here. I don't, I'm not 100% sure though. I don't mind streaming it with you. Well. <laughs> I don't think I would enjoy this game personally. I figured, well... Okay, running jump. There we go. Uh, I mean, it's it's slower. You, you can tell it's slower and the combat is not the strongest point. But I really like it because it's just, it's a relaxing game to play. Yeah. Just... Just like it's not that intensive, you can you can take your time with certain things. It's got it's got infinite saves, which I like. I do feel it. It feels like most similar to Metroid. If I were to draw a comparison, yeah, it's not it's not true Metroid because in Metroid it requires only like a ton of backtracking. In this game, you only have to. Oh my God, the gorillas are back! Ba, 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 da, ba, ba. Ba, 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 ba. 
the Krillus followed us into the cistern. They want revenge. Uh, what was I saying? Sorry. I have to, I have to reload my NPC dialogue. I, I can tell how much you're focusing on this game because you keep losing track of conversations or not hearing things I'd I have say. To, I have to do it, otherwise I'll get lost immediately. No, I, get, I get it. Okay, I think I might not need... I shouldn't be here early, or... Okay. Okay, this makes sense. Okay. Back. Jump. Oh, wait, the free the the free It's Pierre again. Where is he? Where are you shooting from, bro? He's down there. I figured he looks like the dude from a way out. Oh, yeah, you're right. What's it? It wasn't Leon, it was the other one. Vincent. It's Vincent? Wait, Vincent I'm Chase? cover is a dude named Pierre. You litter bug. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, no, he's, he's pretending to be French. Oh, I'm sorry. What is what is French for sorry? Uh, I don't I'm know. I'm sorry in French. I know thank you is merci. <laughs> I'm sorry, song by John Denver. He's sorry for 2004. Okay, I want to get down there because there, it looks like there's something down there. Maybe... Je suis de so. Je suis de so. Mm. Oh, Just je leave. regret. Non, je ne regrette rien. Okay, I'll, uh, nah. It's just magnum ammo, I don't need that. I can't, I can't believe he's fucking following us into the sewers, that prick. Well, what is a magnum in the context of this game? Like a heavy-duty pistol? He's, okay, so magnum probably means something above 375. As far as like as far as like caliber goes, I think I think Laura's Nin guns are like are like nine mil, which is amazing. She was able to take down a dinosaur with just a flurry of nine millimeter fire. That's a big handgun. Uh, three seventy five. Yeah. Shit. I don't know if I'm supposed to be here yet. I'm so scared of soft locking myself. I'm gonna see what's behind the other door. Good thing you got multiple saves. Yeah, where is my... Oh, I saved here. Shit. Okay. Can I make it back? I don't think I can. I think I'm too high up. Oh, no, I can make can it you, back. Can you shimmy to the, on that ledge and then, like, drop down to the lower area? I was thinking I could ledge? do that, but I don't... I think Laura will go into her, oh, shit, I'm falling too high, I'm going to die thing. I'll try it, though. All right. Nope. Not gonna work. Fuck it. That's the most brutal looking death because it's the one that looks obviously accurate. Yeah. Uh... Like like the T-Rex and such was like, yeah, I, I guess that that's kind of brutal, but like she should be bisected. It's obviously not realistic enough. I survive I'm pulled out here? of the game. I can barely survive from here. Let's hope I don't need to do that. I'm gonna continue on. I'm gonna say I'm gonna make another save. Uh, further down, like, on the one down. That way, in the... Or, up here, I guess. That way, if, uh... If this ends up soft-locking me, then, uh... I don't think I will, though. It's like me, me playing this game now is like me trying to navigate from a prophecy of like a, of like a dream I had. Uh, it's been a long time since we did any PS1 games. It does feel like, uh, like one of the old streams. Yeah. Oh, there's another one. Okay. These guys suck. It's just... I think maybe, I think I can, there's a way I can jump and rotate, I thought. Hmm. The way you can do like a flipping jump, but I guess not. The jumping in this game kind of looks like it would be the main deal breaker for me. Oh, another one. 
You know, actually, I saw some, like, alpha footage of this game. And could you believe the jumping was even more jank? Yeah. Because you see here how she jumps. She just kind of, like, she is kind of fluid. There she did, like, the animation for her, like, getting ready to jump was, like, way longer. And she could be interrupted from it. And she has to, like, stop in place after the jump. Yeah. There's an enemy over there. It's just, it was so much worse. So this is improved. Why did the alligators eat the rat? Were they just, were they just saving him for like a special meal? When did Castlevania stop doing the, did it ever stop doing the, this type of jumping? Uh, Where you just committed once you're in the air? Oh, uh, when, when the PlayStation era, the Symphony of the, of the Night, it stopped okay. doing that kind of jumping. That's because you were a vampire. You had aerial control, I guess. Darian, uh, d d does it... Well, because Richter was able to... I guess it was just like, uh... You could play as a vampire before that was, like, oh, three. Uh, Castlevania 3. Yeah, you played as Alucard then. With Bleh, Dracula. Sorry, Alucard. Bleh. Alucard, but he just looked like Dracula. Yeah. More like a son. Uh, this is interesting. How? Oh, okay. I see. I see what how how to get over there. That's good. You do a running jump. I could make a jump like that. No problem. Like how when she said that she was sounded so proud of herself. No problem. Those uh, uh, tutorial voice clips were also apparently new in the PS One version. Like there were shittier versions in the original. Makes sense. <sighs> Yeah, that was probably the that was probably not how I was I, I would want to do that, but fuck it. I can see how this could be like a precursor for like Sands of Time style uh, platforming. Because That was the PS2 Prince of Persia? Yeah. One where where uh, time rewinding was like a main mechanic and then you could do wall running and you could jump from there and do like cool like uh stuff. But for but for that kind of platforming it feels like Well, uh, it's a good thing I didn't immediately fall down, because look at the, look at that shit. This feels like a trap. What was Prince of Persia originally on? Uh, which which one? Which game? The original. Uh, uh that was DOS, and then any. Oh, that's also Ubisoft now. Yeah, always was. I think that was their original property. Okay, that's not gonna work out. Well, how am I supposed to... Oh, I get it. Let's just... Is this gonna work? Nope. Well, Rat what... takes a bite and then runs away. Running jump? That works, okay. Uh, the first Prince of Persia was released on PC. Published by Broderbund. I have no idea who that is. Next games were published by The Learning Company. The then Learning... By Mattel, then by Mattel. Uh, and then Ubisoft bought the franchise in 2001. Mattel? Mattel yeah. Like, yeah, we're going we're to have the uh, Ken, the Persian Ken line of, uh, of, bar, of, like, Ken's. Arabian Barbie. They would, they would have probably done that. Ubisoft's Assassin's Creed franchise is considered a spiritual successor to the series. It is? I guess so. Yeah, sure. What, whatever you say, guys. By who? What's the source on that? Considered I, people who've played both would be like, yeah, they're, this, this seems like the same kind of game. All right. It's like the making of Assassin's Creed. So I Assassin's Creed considers itself the spiritual successor to Prince of Persia. Yeah, that's that's how spiritual successors work, but like I I wouldn't say so cuz 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 there's not a whole lot of like platforming challenges in yeah, I don't, Assassin's usually Creed. spiritual successor implies that a large body of people consider this to be the case. Like it's not just Toby Fox who calls like Undertale a spiritual successor to, to Earthbound. Well, I will say that Toby Fox, uh, he was involved in the Earthbound, like, uh, like, fan community yeah. for quite some time. Okay, that's another key. So I did all that. Get, I got in through the, the key, 
just to unlock another key. Okay. Sure. All right, game. <sighs> Gotta stop taking those risky jumps. All right, whatever. Another fucking rat. Oh, okay. I rem I know where we are now. Oh my god! <laughs> You gotta go down, Leon! <laughs> yeah! Epic action! Firefights! Suspense! <laughs> oh, he's gone. He teleported, teleported out. Teleported away. <laughs> I see the thing is, is the janky parts of this game I can't hate because it's not it's not game breaking. It's just it's just funny. <laughs> Fucking All right, I guess I'm going back to uh What key do I have? I have a silver key, not a rusty key, but a silver key. Which means that the rusty key I have now will unlock the other door, and I guess there's a the uh, other door is like double locked or something. Have to... There's a Prince of Persia game coming out in 2024. Oh yeah. Okay. What what's, what's the, the uh, Lost you... Crown? Which the last game in the series was 2013, so it's been a while. Yeah. What was the last game? The last game was like. Uh... It was weird because they did like. Uh... Like the Sands of Time trilogy, and then uh, and then they tried to do like a reboot, and then they went and then they went back to Sands of Time. Like yeah, the game. last new game was the Forgotten Sands in 2010, and then Shadow in the Flame is a remake in 2013. They retitled it. They retitled. They titled a game off of that one bad like. Uh... Oh, that's what that silver key is for. It's for up there. Okay. Oh. Oh, the Shadow and the Flame was Prince of Persia 2 in 1993. And they remade it in 2013, I guess. Okay. And they're doing a Sands of Time remake to be determined. Okay. Uh, modern modern game, like, uh, politics has made me cynical. Yeah. Assassin's Creed kind of fell victim to being a, like, game of year series for a while, didn't it? The, the, the Call of Duty method, yeah. Where they were just making, they had three studios pumping out Call of Duty games once a year before they realized that that wasn't really a key to success. Because on some, because sometimes you would have games, why'd I do that again? Man, we fucking lost the Crash 4 devs to work on Call of Duty. <sighs> We lost the Tony Hawk devs to work on Call of Duty. Raven got, uh, Ra like, uh, Civi brings this up a lot, where Raven were, like, a really good, like, a uh, game dev company, and then they got, uh, they were the other ones that were making games for the, for the Doom engine, uh, and that were, like, on par with Doom. They were, they did, uh, they did, uh, Heretic and Hexen, and then, uh, they did the, their last game before they were sent to the Call of Duty mines was a game called, uh, Singularity, I think. It was a game where you were playing like a uh, American soldier, and then you accidentally go back in time to ensure that uh, the Soviet Union like becomes dominant, and so you have to go and fix what you what went wrong. I played yeah. that game. That game. That game was fucking wild as shit. And then, uh... and then they just they just didn't ever work on anything else ever again except for call of duty but i guess they got their uh, their uh autonomy back their gamer conservative ship i i fucked that up again jesus christ what i get for talking while playing their gamer conservative ship uh was run, run out and they're able to do other stuff and i'm moment. looking into uh bizarre creations that people made blur and because i know they were bought by activision they weren't pulled to work on call of duty they, they just shut them down Oh, speaking of Activision, there's a weird lawsuit going on. Yeah. They, so Activision is currently suing uh, a, a YouTuber music critic called Anthony Fantano. Okay. Of, uh, of 
of the is needle drop. Is it because drop. he made a, a not good? He said bad things about their music. No, or is there a better reason? No, it's something about like about like people were like Activision was using him as like in like memes, and he said I I, I don't want that, and they respected what he said and he t to take it down. He's like that's not good enough. I want the money you made off of me. And Activision was like, oh, he could sue us. I'm going to counter sue. And, yeah. and you know, the thing is, is that if, if the situation was reversed, they'd be suing him. Yeah, they uh, sure so, would. So I just, it's just like. Wait, what do you mean they used him for memes? Like on Twitter posts? Uh, TikTok. Sorry, X. TikTok, actually. Yeah. I don't know enough about it because I just, I, I try to stay away from drama, but, uh. But I just was like, oh, what the fuck? I didn't think I didn't think Activision suing like uh, like a music critic I kind of follow would be in my bingo cards. But you know, look at where we are as a. Uh, okay. Uh. So what's behind here? No. Okay. No. No. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Laura. Speaking of uh, Twitter, I mean X. Apparently, Muskman has uh, installed. How do I survive that? Okay, great. I guess. Are you supposed to be here? I don't think so. Go for it. No. Yeah, come on. You, you can go. You can undo the save later. See where the tunnel goes. I'm gonna do another save. He uh, took down the the sign mm. outside the Twitter HQ. Oh yeah, and he put and up a, a giant... giant strobe light X across from an apartment building. I don't think I'm meant to be here yet. That's a, there's the key. There's a key. Well, yeah. Fuck it. I can't leave. Is the this is this a soft? This lock? is the soft lock. Okay. All right. The soft lock or a soft lock? A soft lock. Oh, that's the wrong one. Yeah, this is it. Okay. So, my next goal is to go up there, then. <laughs> that was... <laughs> uh, yeah, so, what was it? So, X, uh, the sign X was, like, too bright, and people were, like, complaining about it, and, and I think... What was it? They're investigating the, uh... To see if it violates ordinance or something. I heard it was like a strobe light. Was it strobe? That's worse. Why are you fucking doing strobe light for your sign? God. Billionaires are so dumb. They're so vindictive. Um... Can I make it? Can I make it? You think I can make it? Are you there? Yeah. I'm gonna make it! No, I'm not. Okay. So, not there, but... Okay, I think I know where I need to go. Here, here, clamber, roll, jump. <laughs> that was cool. Jump. Anything else you uh you you've learned about In general? Hmm. Uh, I was looking at the uh, bizarre creations page. They did Project Gotham Racing. Which doesn't seem oh, to have yeah. anything to do with Batman. Oh no, I've heard of that game. Uh, that's a that's a racing game. Uh, that's all about like street racing and shit. What is this up here? They also did a game called Metropolis Street Racer. So how are these things unrelated to DC? <laughs> they're not. They 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 are not related to DC at all. For... They just named them after this. It's an homage. An homage. Yes. That was cool. Okay, good. I thought that was an item. Missed. Well, they made Blur, so maybe maybe Gotham Racing is pretty good. 
Yeah, actually, you know what? You should play it. It's actually not bad at all. It's a full series. There's like five games in it. Yeah. They also did Geometry Wars and something called Fur Fighters. Wait, Fur Fighters? Yeah. Is that from the SNES? Uh, video game developed uh, Dreamcast and PS2. Okay. That was on, I think that was on an episode of uh, Worst Fighting Game. <laughs> That's what I said. People uh, people want to try to make fighting games, but fighting games are, like, really hard. Well, that'd be strange because it's a shooter. What? Okay. I, I was wrong. Oh, shit. I'm missing a key. Maybe I am supposed to go down there after all. How many, uh, how many clay fighters has that dude covered? Uh, unknown. Maybe he doesn't consider it the worst fighting game. Hmm. Wait. Is that open? Wait, I didn't open it. Why is it open? Oh, it is. Okay, yes, I did open it, and I just... Alright. So the silver key is down there. I, I need... I think I need to, uh... To, uh... Modify the water level. I don't remember... How I did... How I, how I do that. Shit. Uh, play Zelda's lullaby. Well, that didn't work. Nothing. All right, I guess. Uh, I guess I got to go back to that one hole and then uh, that one the uh, door to the left, and then figure out where I'm going from there. Every time I got hey. every, what's up? You know who sucks shit? You were right. Sanji's family sucks a little bit of shit. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. Uh... <laughs> Except not even in a way that is like cool. Oh, they just... <laughs> they're just really shitty and also really lame. They have nothing going for them. <laughs> they got nothing going for them except for the fact that they suck shit. Yeah, at least Monarch is, like, funny about it. Yeah. His, his family is just a bunch of, like, Monarch peep villains and stuff. Just shitty, petty assholes. Petty, too? Man. Poor Sanji. He just... Man, does that mean that, uh, that, like, Zoro is his ac actual friend because everybody, like, treats him worse than Zoro? Or Zoro, he treats... Zoro, anyway, you know you know what I mean. They're, they're, they're playful rivals. Yeah. Should he cook Moss Head? Zoro really gets away with kind of not doing anything all day. Just because he's, he's the vice captain. Well, he's strong. He's yeah. the he's the he's the guy who can get shit done if you need to. If there's a fight, call me. Otherwise, I'm gonna be drinking. All right. So over here. So I can't go down over here because if I do, the spikes should get me unless I die, which means that the only way to advance is over here. Which means there's a switch I missed at some point navigating this area. You might be able to fall into the water from that fall, but that can't be intended because you no. get soft locked down there. No, because I, I look down there, there's no way to like open it and given how it works. Hmm, can I oh, maybe, it, shot. maybe it's intent intended for a different water level? Yeah, so I gotta raise the water level and then go down there because spikes won't harm you if you're if you're swimming. I'm gonna look up that guide from yesterday just in case we need it. Appreciate it. This level, this level kind of sucks. <sighs> Jimmy. I I mentioned this to you uh, off stream. Uh -huh. uh, so the developers of Katamari do a smattering of other games here and there. Yeah. And the most recent one I'm aware of is they've made a collection of those games that have mobile ads but don't actually exist. Like the pin pulling game. Yeah, you mentioned that. So uh, that that's what that's what he's been up to. The dev, yeah. <laughs> 
You want you wanted these games, right? It's the most passive aggressive like uh, title for a game. Yeah, it's got a weird title that collection. Uh, can I make it over there? I think I can. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try. Grease levels five through nine. The cistern. I can! Yay! Thirty-four enemies. Yeah, it feels like it. It's a bunch of just a bunch of rats and shit. First objective, locate two rusty keys and use them to open the doors along one wall of the main room. Done. Find three more keys, two silver and one gold in the side areas. Okay, the gold one, I, I know where the gold one is. I need one more silver one. In the process, you will need to flood the cistern. Da, 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 da. Okay, does it say how to flood it? In the leftmost side rusty key room... I'm gonna guess so. I'm gonna take double check everything. I feel like I missed it. Yeah, I think I, I think I gave up too early when I got the silver key. Uh, room with metal grating and cistern switch. Is that the one where you fought Pierre? There is a switch. Seriously, what is that? There, there. I think I toggled. It says take a standing jump onto a high balcony and then climb the stairs to the room at the top. Does that sound familiar? Yeah, this seems like this seems like uh, where I am. Th th this is this guides are kind of useless without pictures though for this game. Do, well, we got to figure out where we are first before we. So can, I opened like... I opened the switch to uh to get the silver key. Wait, what is that? What's over there? <laughs> Nothing. Can I... Is there anything else? No? What's the point of this fucking alcove? Oh, well. Damn it. That also made back a bit. I am. Are you still looking? I, I guess, yeah. I really don't like this level. I'm sorry we were beating on this one. Uh... Room with first silver key. Room with second silver key. All right, where's the room with the second silver key? I'm guessing we use the two silver keys to get to the... Uh... What? I was nowhere near there. Are you kidding me? So the room where we fought Pierre and then through an underwater passage. Okay, so... Alright, so I overthought it really badly. Okay, good to know. I'm... Man, I'm already just like... drenched in sweat. <laughs> this fucking heat wave. How's it... How's it up there, out down there for you? Uh, 79. Run, corner, drop, right. Okay, down, down. Okay, so, so through the water pole, huh?
When Pierre is gone, jump into the pool and swim through the underwater passage to the next room where you can surface. Sounds good to me. High up on the ledges are a couple of rats. Okay, that's where I'm hearing them. Alright, we're we are where we need to be then. Why'd I not wanna go through here then before? Wait, can I? Okay, that's too high. I don't think I'm supposed to be here yet. I think the water level needs to be raised. Uh, it says kill the rats, jump back in the pool, and follow the other twisty passage to the south. Kill the rats back how? The they're, pool they're in the main area. What are you... T not you, but what's the... Wait, hold on. I, I, yeah, it's probably not mandatory to kill them, but uh, it says the you can kill them by, like, jumping and shooting. Okay, well, then I'll just go back to the to the main... It's not mandatory to kill them. I. Unfortunately, this guide is like a hundred percent guide, so it keeps like listing all the secrets and side stuff. Oh, okay. Well, I don't need that. Okay, climb out of the pool at the base of the ramp. On the east side between the two gargoyles. The ramp. Okay. So I'm going to the ramp and then I'm climbing. I guess I'm. The one Climb I'm... slash jump up to the walkway above and from there back onto the balcony on the east side. East. Okay. Fucking. You ready to be bring up my compass guide? That... So that's north. I don't know what they mean. <laughs> How about, hey, game, hey, guide, how about you just. The silver key, I can see the silver key, it is down there. I need another silver key, man, and this game won't give it to me. <laughs> it's telling you to go to the balcony on the east side and into the room with metal grating and the cistern switch. East side. Okay, so if that's north, then... Okay, that... Okay. I've got... Oh! Oh! Okay, I, I know where we need to go now. God damn it. I, how embarrassing. Okay, we're gonna have to start climbing. That's, I didn't, I thought I went up there, but no, there's, I, I, I realize now that, oh, there's two, uh, like, pathways, so. Apparently, if you raise the water level with the crocodile corpses, they will raise with the water, but if you lower it again, they will stay suspended in the air. You can lower the water level? Yeah. So this room? I, metal the grates, great? so okay. there must be a switch oh, in here. Oh, shit. Don't fall in, it says. Sorry. <laughs> or you'll have a long trip to get back up again. That, okay, everything makes sense now. I, I understand what my folly. I get it. So this is... We're going to get to the great room and save. Yes. Because this game doesn't auto-save. There's no, like, hot save. Got to bring up the menu and save every time. Like, what is it? Go? Hot swappable. Hot swap. Stop and swap. What was the game that we tried to hot swap with and fucked up? Was that Donkey Kong Country? Yeah. This is. I think this was back way back in the day. When we were. Yeah, uh, before we. we it was off stream. Yeah. Yeah, we tried to, like, do that, and then it stopped, and I think we didn't save, so we had to do some levels over again. Fun times. Alright. It's fine. Game game's too easy with save points. Maybe here... I make it. Somehow I managed to make it. That was a jank- that was, like, one of the jankiest jumps I've ever had to do. Okay, save. It, 
it mentions falling onto the spikes and surviving. So yeah, that's that's the soft lock. Yeah, I figured as much. I I, I looked at that and I'm like, I shouldn't be alive. I'm guessing that that's infamous because you can just do it so easily. I'm guessing because of how spikes works or something or. Climb up this room. Cistern switch is... Seeing everything so grid-based makes me think of, like, Frogger. <laughs> yeah, I, I can see why you would say that. Hello, Sandy. Hey, Sandy. Spending way too long on this level. Oh, this is a secret! Whatever. <clears throat> Lots of shotgun ammo. Uh Okay, I see. Yay. What shotgun ammo do I have now? How much ammo I got for my shotgun 18 shots? More than enough to kill anything that moves. I'm gonna save again. In case that's like, the exit is, uh, is deadly. I can't wait to get to the very end of the game and never use anything but the pistols. Honestly, I'm... That was kind of brutal. Honestly, like, I am prepared to just, to just use the pistols to the ends of the earth. Like me and Ratchet and Clank. There was no incentive to use the weapons in the first game, so I just used the wrench on everything. Yeah, people will probably say, oh, but you need to use the the weapons. They're, like, really good. I'm like, dude, I got infinite ammo. Like The only like time it was, like, hard enough that I needed to was, like, the very last level, and I used the, the like, busted-ass missile that you could, like, rhino? guide. No, not the Rhino. The one where you could, like, you became the missile. Oh, that one. Yeah, the the smart bomb. Yeah. The Nikita. Rip you a new one. What did you say to me? That's the name of the weapon. <gasps> Wait. Oh, there's a switch. Once again, me and my dumb dumb brain just just overthinking things. Whatever. I'm gonna see if I can get that med kit. And I can. I have to do that stupid, uh, leave it on overnight grind. If I do Ratchet and Clank again, just for the Rhino. Live stream it. Just sleep and then while it goes on. Oh, that'll, that'll send me down if I... Okay. Ah, okay. So there's a switch in this room. Yes. Clank boxing for bolts. That's that... probably that's probably the the switch that'll raise the water level. Was there a Ratchet and Clank game where Clank boxed? Better take my want to take my spot. Better train to box. And it's your boy raise water level. Tom Brader. Oh. Ray, swatter level. Ray, swatter. This. Ray, S, w level. No, I remember when Clank got huge. I remember that. I guess he did, he did, like, punch. Punch robot. Punch robot. I'm gonna punch this robot. One of the most robotic looking stands. I don't remember any besides the, I guess, the electric tower. Yeah. Gold key. Way too early to be getting this key, though. We need to go to the other, like, uh, section. Means. But you got the two silver and one gold key, right? I have one gold key. I need, still need one silver key. What? There's another fucking, cr like, alligator? No. I'm not dealing with you. I'm gonna go this way. Fuck you. Okay. Well, it says we've been in the room with the second silver key before. Yeah, up here. 
Rats. Can't get me, you fucking rats. It's a good thing that rats, like bears, cannot swim. Alright, what does this do? Alright, where was that again? That's down here, right? Yep. It's down somewhere. Down here. No! <laughs> you f- <laughs> <laughs> You killed my family! Get away from me, you creep! Oh, that that took way too long to fucking handle. I'm I'm sorry. I don't like this level. Fucking cistern part. Fortunately, I think we are almost done with this level. The uh Skyward Sword Cistern was like the Shadow Temple equivalent of the game. Oh yeah? It was it was all nice and pretty and, and golden at the top, but then you get to the very bottom, it's just like poison and death. Oh, that's just that's just uh, the well. Hmm. Okay, well I'm here now. And this thing looks pretty uh pretty empty to me. Okay. Okay, you dickhead level designers. I see what you're doing. I'm gonna need to get up there somehow. Okay, I see it. The cistern. It seems like a game that, because it's tile based, could have had like a like a fan level community. It has actually a pretty active oh, yeah? one. Yeah, well, somewhat active. They released like an official level editor at one point, and uh, I see you, you monk, you you gorilla, you you. I see you. It's clay check. Gorillas, the monkey ape gorilla. <laughs> no, the monkeys are a different band. Nothing to do with the gorillas. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Oh! <laughs> the whole tribe, the whole animal kingdom is here. The lion, the. Oh, there's a second one. Whatever. I'm gonna ignore you. You, you will live to tell the tale. Never mind. This looks ominous. This looks like a boss arena. This yeah. game doesn't really have that many bosses. Uh, we had the T-Rex, right? we have Pierre, we had Larson. Ooh. Glad I, I wasn't standing there. I'm gonna save. Did I save? I saved. Did you? I think I did. I don't know. We're at, we're at 90! More li <laughs> Wait a minute! I just realized something. <laughs> you dumb shits! It's a good thing the cats are terrible climbers. Well, that's the end of that chapter. Oh, another switch. Is it gonna? Is this gonna release more more sewer lions? You're not even gonna tell me what that did. You sealed me in. But wait, what if I don't do that? Wait. Game, what do you want me to do here? Is there a reason to pull that? Thought there was. It was a Only switch. Only you could wall jump. <laughs> Game Raider, uh, Laura doesn't get that ability until later. Alright, well, fuck it. I guess you can, like, get... I guess you can get in there early. Oh! Uh, are you serious, bro? Uh, uh, 
<laughs> All right. Is there anything there? No. I'm gonna have to. So she, so she has to let let go and disengage after pulling one space every yes. time. Yes. Yes. Okay. So I gotta push it through there. This and then... doesn't look tedious. <laughs> Compare. This... What do I say? This level, this level is like, is like my least favorite. Like Saint Francis's Folly was amusing because it had like some interesting puzzles. Uh, my, King Palace Midas, I I did kind of like, despite it being confusing, I did like the fact that that route took you, like, through like the upper path on like most of the other level. It was a pretty interesting twist on backtracking. This, this is just like. This is a sewer level, and it's hard to make sewer levels interesting. I should have pulled. Whatever. So are you supposed to use it to, like, jam the door open? No. I'm supposed to get up... Here, I'll show you. Use it to climb on something? Yeah. But okay, do you so need to pull the switch, or is the switch just what she calls gun? I think the switch, the switch is a, uh, is it was a red herring. Wait, no, but this is, this, there's nothing up here! Except for, like, ammo, I guess, that's cool, but where's... So the switch must do something if they gave you a way to get out of the room with the door closed. Yeah, um, maybe I have to just double back. Just those ramps. God damn. Was I not supposed to bring the thing here? No, oh, but then why would... Okay. I'm gonna just pull the switch, I'm gonna go up the other way, and then double back down and see what happens. It, you know, it would suck if there was another puzzle involving this uh, block, and I totally fucked it up. The guy doesn't mention another soft lock, and this would be a soft lock if that was the case. Yeah, so probably not. Um, you can save it while you're up here, just in case. Do that anyway, in case something kills me. 92! We're eight more saves till we hit 100! Oh, it's not a soft lock because I can always like undo that uh, that switch and reopen the door. Wait, that was the end. <laughs> they overthought it. I'm so okay. Oh, actually, before I don't want to. So this is the next level. This is the next level. This is the final level of Greece, I think. Uh, this is... what's it called? I forget. Nope. No compass. This is the... Tomb of Sihokan. That doesn't sound Greece. Greek. Yeah, it's, uh, it sounds... Uh, I can't open it from there, so what do you want me to do, game? You can't use that switch underwater? That's the kind of switch you can't really use underwater, no. There's under there's underwater switches, and then there's non-water- Oh, there's fucking- Oh my god, this is so nerve-wracking. Fortunately, you don't immediately, you don't, like, just automatically die when you, uh, when you lose all your O2, it starts taking away from your oxygen, from your, like, health. Another alligator. Uh, 
I think if I remember correctly, it's got a lot of like it's got some block puzzles, but then it gets it gets better level. Only seventeen enemies on this level. Yeah. Don't let that fool you. This level this level has like a really one of those things where it's just like you better start climbing. She does jump pretty high pretty high. It's like two two Laura Croft heights. She's very good at oh god damn it. Alright, I gotta do that whole thing again. Look if we're not saving. Got impressive vertical leap. Swimming physics in this game aren't too bad. I think I might just be used to them. Alright, and... Uh... Okay, Dave. Okay. She's got her girl face. Yeah. Oh, that takes care of that. Ninety four, ninety five. We're going to get a hundred. Okay. There's aliens on the wall. Are there aliens on the wall? Yeah. Graves. 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 Oh, I see him. Yeah, you know, it was more blatant in uh, in Peru where like every other uh like a uh, wall contained like a face texture. I meant I meant down at the bottom, like oh. these ones. Oh, I can see it. Yeah, yeah, I can see it. I don't think we're seeing the same thing. No, yeah, it was half a gray face. I saw it. Do you believe? Hello, S. Hello, Escander. Hello. They jump like that. Oh no! It was fish? That was no. It's, it, oh no, they're arrows. That's. I don't mean. know why it looked like fish for a second. That's so mean. <laughs> that was. I forgot about that trap. Again, taking those arrows like a champ. Yeah, they're big too. I'm watching uh, Joel play Oblivion. Wait, what? Uh, Elder Scrolls Oblivion. Oh. I just see he, his character is like a, is a fist fighter, so he just takes like fifty arrows and is just walking around with them, full of filling his body. It just reminds me of like, okay, I, I, uh, I, what'd that do? What did that accomplish? Did it lower water or raise water? It raise water. Oh, I guess this this uh, one is open now. No, but this was here before. No, get Laura. I can't use this. It's soggy. No, I can't. She can use it. It's drugs. Right. So I I I went up there. I lowered the water level to get up here to raise the water level. To do what? Go back here. No. Literally, what did that accomplish? It has to be in this room, then. That something happened. Is that block floating? Is that block at a new height oh, now? Oh, fucking... I'm an idiot. All right. Was not obvious for me. That explains why... The 
his full name is Pierre Dupont. Dupont? Is he related to uh to uh what's his name? Dupont? I was gonna say there's a there's a Dupont in uh in Miraculous, isn't there? Yeah, there's not not Marinette, that's Dupin. Dupin? Dupont. No, that's the, the school is Dupont. Yeah, Pierre uh had a had a school. He uh Oh I'm zooming! Whee! Light speed! Like that Sonic level. Yeah. Is it High City or is it Hydrocity? The world may never know. Yeah. That's what I call it, that level. Uh, more fucking block puzzles. Can't believe that. Where's your uh, favorite Sonic zone that you recall? Uh, music or just to play? In general, either. Uh... I really... I liked a lot of the Sonic 2 zones. I might say Chemical Plant. I I actually like Mushroom Hill a whole lot. I, I, I Mushroom groove, Hill's pretty good. The groove and just the way the, seed, the stuff changes and stuff. And also, I have a lot of fond memories for Sonic and Knuckles. Wow, 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 wow. Yeah. Oh, flying battery is also really good. I also really Thanks. like uh Oh, I you can't fool me. I see that. I know what you're what? going to do, game. You see you... <laughs> <laughs> I don't care if you found it in school, you're going down. He was just looking at he's like the G man. <laughs> he's just looking and he walks away. No, he's here again. There's something on his back. Some kind of. Uh, Tomb Raider Pierre. Maybe I can see like a P and G. Yeah, let's see his. He is cower. He is cowering down there. I'm gonna have to flush him out. <sighs> no, I'm just gonna take a bunch of damage. Yeah, I want to see what his what the back of his jacket is. Well, a deviant artist has portrayed Pierre and Larson as a gay couple. Good for them. Makes sense. They they had a, they had they have moments in Chronicles where they're like friends apparently. Why is this game so small? <laughs> Okay, this can't be what it is. What is this it? is a. This must be from a later game because it's a much higher res model. But this one has a. He has a picture of like a, like a cover girl on the back of his jacket. Oh, like like a pinup girl. Yeah. <laughs> no, that tracks. He's a dirty Frenchman. Like, like I'm sure. Oh fuck me. Okay, I forgot about that trap. Give me a moment. Wait, he ran. He ran. Disappeared. He just decided to go over there. And that alligator just thrashes around. I really hope this is like one of those linear levels. I really got this game really wants me to use a shotgun. I'm not yeah. going to, but it really wants me to. What are some uh, what are some animals in this game that we haven't yet encountered? Do you remember any? Um, one other big cat species. Uh, and um. Shit, I don't know what else. Gotta go back through those fucking jaws. Man. <sighs> nice camera. Yeah. It's really not cooperating. I this the camera's not the worst thing in the world. No, it, it just didn't better. give you a lot of leeway in that particular corridor. Yeah. Shit, okay. I think I can make that jump. 
Damn it. I, I can no longer tell which jumps I can make and not make anymore. I think three... Yeah, three blocks is a running jump with grabbing. Yeah. Yep, that was I was afraid of. It's just a flesh wound. One. I don't know if I. Okay. I'm supposed to go here first. I'm guessing because I got to raise the water level. All right. Shimmy, shimmy. I like how this is supposed to be like some sacred tomb, and yet it's just more fucking sewers. And they built, oh, they built their sewers on top of an ancient Incan tomb. Like the Roman Greekans were disrespectful as fuck, man. Why the fuck were the Incans building tombs here in Greece? <laughs> Or were they Incans? Maybe they were something else entirely. Alright, yep, water levels are rising again. Alright. I'm, cur I'm curious, because you mentioned uh, custom levels. I'm seeing if there's any, uh, like, Tomb Raider ROM hacks on romhacking.net. House was a bit slow on the uptake. I don't know if there's any ROM hacks, per se? You don't see a ton of those for, like, PlayStation games. Hard as shit. Mostly people want to just... Motherfucking... Hey, you know what? I'm heading up. Can't get me! Oh, you can get me, kind of. Uh, there's a quality of life hack for Tomb Raider Chronicles, but that's it. Fucking... I'm being... Oh my god, this is... <laughs> King Louie and his dudes are still watching. Damn it! I really stepped in it this time. All right, I'm gonna take this time to get a water break while the monkeys can't get me. It's just fixing typos. That's all of the, that's all this rom hack is. I know, right? All of the grammar in the game has now been corrected. You know, it, they're doing a service. We gotta, we gotta respect that. Okay. Uh. You... Shit. I don't want to do any of my acrobatic shit here because there's spikes. I need to get a fucking key too. Hey, maybe you. Maybe it's time. Time. Maybe it's time to use something other than the pistols. Okay, maybe. Oh, there's lions down there now. There's a lion uh, down there, a monkey up above. Is there a strawberry I can eat? Duck in the middle with you. Alright, fuck it. Let's go, monkey. The good task with two gorillas. Those okay. small gorillas. They're... Yeah, they're... they're chimps? I don't know what they are. Oh, no! Monkey. <laughs> and now the lion. Oh, you are dedicated to those pistols. <laughs> I want to say... Okay, there is actually a legit reason I am saving the shotgun. You will find out... You will... You will, uh, see what I need to deal with later on, you'll be like, Wow, I'm glad you saved the shotgun. Okay. Is, uh, this is a good time for me to leave for a couple minutes? Yeah, go for it. Alright, be right back. Alright. While he's gone, I am going to... ...do some boring platform shit. I'm glad he wasn't here to see that. Alright. 
Okay, I know where I need to go now. I need to go down there. Good thing I killed that guy. Is this the way? No, this. Yes, okay. No? Ooh, secret, secret wall level, that lever that is. Oh, that opens up that door up there, and then I gotta go up to the key and then go back down. Okay. Okay, Tomb Raider. You're drunk. Go home. At least it's at least it's not a big climb. Oh, I need to save. Hey, one hundred saves. Dear, 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 dear. Okay, gold key. I am so lucky there. Okay. Jimmy. Jimmy, yeah. Gold key. What? That was... Wait, why are you doing the C... All that for a secret? No way. Was all that really for a fucking secret? Sure is sewer in here. I think I so I did the key and that was the only time I heard it do the fucking you just unlocked the secret thing. I guess it was just to let you know, hey actually shit's different now, but okay. Oh my god, so many doors! All these doors! <laughs> There's so many! Okay, I, gotta, I probably gotta move this block on certain things and then that'll open certain doors. That open a door? Dory open. Dory door door. Yes, a door is no, that's the door I went in. Oh no, monkeys. No, that is the door I went in. Okay. I'm on the right track with the, with the blocks. Okay. What's behind door number one? By the way, that previous uh that previous section, I had to climb up. To go to, to re realize I had to go down. I found a secret switch. I hit that, and then I had to climb up to get a key, and then go back down to put the key in the keyhole, which which uh, did the uh, get the the things lifted, which I could cross to get into this room of doors and block. Sounds them. thrilling. <laughs> All right, uh, that that was just ammo. Oh God. You would think logically, this being at like the lowest of the of the Greek stuff, this would be like the least technologically advanced. No, no, it's actually the most. Oh, by the way, we hit one hundred saves. Move to heal can save one hundred. Do 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 do. You play the air horn if you want. I forgot. I forgot how to do that. Oh, okay. No, no, here it is. There you go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Shit, I gave you too much power. Alright, what's up here? Uh... A key! No! <laughs> this game... You see why this game scared me as a kid? <laughs> what? I... It was opening! <sighs> Alright. And then one of the keys. Is that a rusty key? Yeah.
Every time I open a door, it summons another monkey. Not even like it's behind the door, it just is like, oh, a monkey came to check up on my progress. Yeah. Okay. So I got one other... Oh, is it permanently open? Okay. Okay, that one's open. What is that? What did that open up? More- OH MY GOD! <laughs> like playing Doom! Just monster closets! Oh! Was in here just a med kit? <laughs> okay. Man, okay, so the- so the- the doors that actually lead to things I would want are on the opposite corners. You would- n you would never get them on your first try. That sucks. Alright. What am I fighting this time? Oh, nothing. Thanks, game. You cr you guessed correctly. Guess and check. Well, actually, it doesn't, like, punish you. Hmm. Or maybe it does. <laughs> Dicks. I know you- I'm wise to your tricks, Tomb Raider. Get cross-sected by dual- <laughs> Right. Okay, we are- if I, if I remember correctly, there's one final stretch left. Which means that this is act this cistern and palace Midas were the longest levels of three section. Yeah. And then I think uh tomb of Okay, yes, yes, we are near the end. Cinematic? That's fine, you, you, I don't need to take you out. Uh-oh. What? I don't know, did my Discord fro froze for a second. We're good, though. Okay. I, <laughs> the soundboard was almost crashing. I, I don't have Nitro, so I can't actually use any of the fun ones anyway. Fair enough. All right. Okay, I know what I need to do. It's gonna be a trickier uh, platforming puzzle. Okay. I don't want to have to do this again. Am I gonna hit 200 by the time the game's up? I don't know. Alright. What does this switch do? That opens up the next one. Yep. So do you think the cistern was the hardest level in the game? Uh, the most annoying. My least favorite. Hardest? Um, no. Something can be difficult while being fun to, like, kind of, like, figure out. That's how I feel, like, replaying a lot of, a lot of this game, is that I have to just kind of think, like, wait, what am I doing next? Uh, oh! Oh, okay, I get it. And then I figure it out, and then... The tomb is laid bare in front of me, and I'm like, yes, I did it! Truly, he was the Tomb Raider. Okay. Uh, Alright, is this going to open for me, or do I need to do something else first? Open Sesame! Okay, no. That's why that switch was there. I need to... Those look like they could be floating blocks. But the minute... Uh, those ones? I don't, know. I don't think I know. Hey, I think we're we're past the point of uh of water puzzles. I need to uh find. I need to dive with your crocodile friend. <laughs> as long as I don't stop. 
going on an adventure with Croc. We we, we both share a love of uh, of tank control platforming. This looks this looks like it feels so nice right now. Down here? No, I came up from here. That alligator does not want to come down here with me. So I turned toggle the switch up there, which uh, you saw that it opened up a grate uh, underwater. So I need to find that that one wherever it is. So there looks like there's stone. So I gotta just I gotta just buckle down and find it. Hog. Keeper. What do you think is more dangerous, a crocodile or a lion? Uh, probably a lion. I'm this I meant in real life, because in this game, clearly the crocodiles are not a threat. I still a lion. Crocodiles, you can just poke them in the eyes and they'll release you. A lion can fucking maul you. And I think a lion would be more dangerous because you're more likely to see one. Like, uh, just, just anywhere, because people fucking collect lions like crazy. I told you I used to have a neighbor who had, who had, like, cougars, right? Yeah, no, you didn't, actually. Tell me about that story. I used to have a, a dude who lived across from me who was, like, a... I, it, like an anarchist seaman kind of fellow. Yeah. He had two big kennels and three big kennels in his backyard with two cougars and a lynx. A lynx. Oh, wow. So not, like, the most deadly of, uh, of wild animals, but still pretty, uh... Still very illegal, too. Oh, yeah. Big Cat, uh, like, owning is, is like, dangerous shit, because they can... He also they... had a, uh, he had a, a baby crocodile in a tank in the house. Okay. That was named Boots, because that was what it was going to be. Wow. That's, uh, that's kind of mean. <laughs> that... That is how he described it. Oh, he he admitted it was mean, or no? He did, that's the explanation that he gave for the crocodile's name. Did he seem like he was joking? Oh, it was it was a family. It was a family of four, and the the, the oh. kids had a reputation as kind of like you know the the trouble kids of the neighborhood. Yeah, I bet if they're if your fucking father or your parents are owning like like crazy wild animals. I, th I think they left the neighborhood after the dad got busted with drugs or something. Of course he was selling drugs. I, I'm not surprised. Damn shame for the kids, though. Okay, so... Yeah. I can't... Hmm. So I opened up a switch, which... So I toggled a switch, which uh, opened another corridor. And it seems like that corridor is the key to opening that door up. I'm wondering where that... Uh... I don't know if it's here. It's probably back in that fucking room, of course. All right, I'm gonna double. I'm gonna double back and check that area again. Hope I'm not overthinking things again. This is this. Uh, we're at the end. That's the end of the level right there. And I'm and I'm just so I'm so close. So close to it, man. All right. Oh, there's another potential soft lock in the PlayStation version. Oh, in, in this level or uh, Cistern? If you, uh, def... No, it's in this one. If you defeat Pierre and then save and reload without picking up his key, the key is gone. <laughs> in the PlayStation version, not the PC version. All right, so I was yeah. up here. So that's a switch, and then there's water down there. That leads out here, so... Okay. 
Damn it, I I know just enough to be competent, but I don't know enough that I uh What am I missing? I gotta be missing something. This is just like real tomb raiding. You're just looking at every nook and cranny to find like a like a clue that allow you access to the sacred fucking hidden forbidden holy ground. So you're still looking for whatever that switch opened. Yeah. Drop into the water, face the small flat ledge at water level to the north. From the switch room? From where you're at, the underground lake area. Okay, I need... Where am I dropping in facing towards the... Face the small flat ledge at water level to the north. Okay, give me a moment. All right. So north would be... Oh, wait. No, hold on. Door of Tihokan's tomb, which is flanked by two centaur statues. Yep. The end of a well-concealed underwater passage. Well-concealed is right. Well-concealed. So I'm on the right track. Beneath, beneath the right side of the building. Beneath the right side of the building. Okay. this way oh. fucking hell <laughs> i was <laughs> well concealed is right you want to signpost your shit better devs <laughs> uh. it like blends in that's fucked, man. You're really just on your own in this kind of game. There's no companion, no, like, guidebook, nothing. No, you, you had a companion, you got eaten by wolves. You don't deserve another one. Maybe we can befriend Pierre. Maybe we can still work together. Pierre, we can, we can work together. I know there's good in you, Pierre. You founded a school. Um... You need to save? Oh. Oh, there's centaurs. Well, there's they one. It looks like a doom enemy. Why did it explode into meat? <laughs> and that is why I saved the shotgun. <laughs> is the other one a statue? Yeah. It seems like it. Late for the price giving, no? Oh my god, he actually sounds like that. <laughs> Fucker. You know who has a uh, great <laughs> voice? And well, we got his, we got his uh, magnums. They are significantly better than the shotgun. <laughs> has a better. <laughs> is a, you know who has a great uh, like French voice? Is the the egg dude in one, in one piece that we've seen. Oh, yeah. It's like one piece egg man. Okay, I think we're, we're almost done with this level, so we don't need to, like, heal up. Uh, yeah, uh, significantly easier than Cistern, except for that one fucking d dick key. Uh, How did he show up, like, ten times and only just now speak? <laughs> he, he wanted to be, he wanted to rub it in. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I really wanted my voice to make an impression. <laughs> I ran out of using my nin ability. Now I can speak for the day. I'm surprised. That's his condition. He can't speak. <laughs> Wait, not not all nin abilities are, are like you have to have conditions. It's that you to make it more powerful. I guess yeah. that I guess it's plenty powerful. Laura's guns. You saw how I just melted those two dudes with a shotgun. Like, like her nin guns uh, fire like nin bullets, but they're not that powerful, which means she probably has no condition. We're just making up lore for shit, but fuck it. Yeah, that was, uh, that was pretty quick. That was, like, way faster than Cistern. 
You say that. It was like an hour, hour and a half. For this level? No. Since oh, no, it was an hour. Total. Yeah, total so far. Never mind. Yeah. Atlantis. Atlantis. So even after the curse of the continent had tried to keep rule here in these barren other lands, he died without child, and his knowledge has no heritage. Look over us kindly to Hoken. <laughs> Did you add the fucking duck? No, I just it's weird that that was in the game. Of course. All right, so that's uh, that's grease done. I'm Dustin. just did not bother to apply leveling to the in-game cutscenes. No. Uh, alright, so welcome to Egypt. Is, 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 you know, Indiana Jones, Egypt, like, when did that, how many times did he go to Egypt? I don't remember. Three isn't times. That where he like met, isn't that where he met Hitler? No, he met Hitler in Germany. He, he met Hitler in Egypt. Well, I don't know if Hitler traveled. I don't know if he did either, honestly. Okay. Alright, I gotta say yeah, it. I know there was a mistake in that movie, is that uh, Hitler was right-handed in the movie. Uh, that, well, that's that was that means that it wasn't Hitler, it was a body double. Oh. Probably employed some of those. Hey Arnold referenced him by name. I was kind of surprised by that. Famous uh, historical figure. That's like evil. Did, some, did, did one of the kids say you're worse than Hitler to someone? No, it was a Grandpa telling a war story, and he was obviously embellishing, and he was like, And then I met up with the Fuhrer himself! And it oh was just, God. like, clearly Hitler, with, like, flames around him. He was all evil. Alright, so this is the city of Kamun. Um, I think, what is it, Egypt has, like, only three levels or something? Or three sections? Uh, yeah, three levels. Yeah, so, which means that they're probably going to be kind of lengthy. Block. I'm going to push forward this time. I don't trust. I had to pull. God damn it. Uh, so I remember the least about Egypt. I'm, I'm going to apologize in advance. Egypt is, uh... We're gonna uncover the secrets of duel monsters. <laughs> what the? Card games? Shadow games? So we now have two out of three Skyons. Yeah, Pierre had it, and then we killed him, and we stole not only that, but also his magnums. And the magnums are pretty decent, like, uh, weapons. You could, man, you could you could just miss the shotgun. Okay, what's the point then of like having this? You'd push it one more space. I don't know if that would accomplish anything. Oh. Okay, I get it. This game's physics is weird. I think that's this is how you do it. Push, you push, and then climb up. Pull. I don't know if you can like pull. You want to see if that that'll work? What that works. both at once? <laughs> Is Laura strong enough to uh, to, uh, to accomplish this? You crazy? Nope. 
She's not she is not crazy enough to try to crush herself with the block above. I like how she just automatically knew to go to Egypt. Because she put two of the Skyon pieces together and she saw a vision. This, it, this might sound weird to say. Yeah. I think the in-game model of Laura looks better than the cutscene Laura. Yes, I, that is not weird. I agree wholeheartedly. Even though it's so much lower poly, it just doesn't have that uncanny valley thing going on. Yeah. It, I, I, I agree completely. You are not crazy. Okay. So we spent all that actually getting access to the city of Kamun. Okay. <gasps> it's a, it's the Sphinx! They buried it! Oh, shit. Heard you been, yeah, heard you been talking, heard you been talking shit about my lion brethren. All the all the large cats yeah. look like the bear and crash too. All the there's the panther tribe is guarding this place. <coughs> okay, more health. Sure, more magnum ammo. I should be using this, but I mean, I I know. <laughs> All right. Uh, so. Oh, hello. All right. You gotta pull out the mirror shield and you gotta melt its face. I'm sorry. There's cat cat mummies. <laughs> this is this is where the game kind of starts going off the rails. And yeah, they explode. So not only so the the panther tribe and and then the uh, the ancient mummies of Egypt have teamed up to like to like stop Laura Croft. All right, more magnum ammo. They really want you to use that magnum ammo. I mean, I got a lot theoretically. I wonder right. if large cats were any more sacred in Egypt. Like, like, the size of the cat, it, like, matters. Yeah. They're only sacred if they're, like, small, and if they grow bigger, then fuck them. I wonder if there's, like, a differentiation in, like, how holy the cat is, depending on the species of cat. The cat is, like, like, if it, if it's, uh, if it's, like, uh, all cats are sacred, but if it's, like, over a certain size, it's holy. Yeah. Like, like maybe tigers are top shit in Egypt. Well, yeah, they better be. Like, you... You disrespect a tiger it's not gonna let you uh we got it we're gonna I, for, I forgot we're gonna have to get so much shit uh all right you pull that i hope not well only one way to uh to go it's uh gotta be up there Is that too steep too steep no yeah, it's too steep. Shit. Uh. Hmm. Sorry, I'm I'm trying to I'm trying to uh get my bearings here. That seems like that seems like it'll open. He. I'm looking up in the uh, the cats in ancient Egypt Wikipedia article, and it only has really mention of like domesticated cats. Okay, it makes so no mention of large cats. They probably didn't bother because they were dangerous. Like, th those cats are sacred, but uh, you it's probably best to leave them alone. Among other things, I guess they were well-liked because they killed venomous snakes. Oh, yeah, they were good at that. Like that and mongooses. Uh, let me... I'm trying to think about, like... Okay, I gotta go up there? No, because that's fenced off, and then there's a fence over there. Jock can go up there, and then... Over there. I assume you hit whatever that button down there was on the pillar. Those aren't buttons, those are, uh, reliefs. Are they buttons? I don't think they're buttons. Yeah, no, they're well, buttons. Not that one, but the one on the right looks different from the others. That's, a. Uh... 
that looks like Washington State. What? No, back up. Oh, back up? Where? Like the one over on the other platform from here. You see it? Oh, yeah, over here? No, other side. There's three of these, like, empty dim ones, and... Okay, never mind. Yeah, no, I... I, I, I thought the Ankh one was special. It's because it's an Ankh, it is kind of special. Ah, the tree! Bonk. Watch out for that tree, George. <laughs> I get it. Oh, I can just climb up here. I'm, I'm over... See, I'm overthinking shit again. Uh... No? Well, at least I can climb... I can get the shotgun ammo up here. Uh, can I... You know what's weird? You should be able to climb this fence, but you can't. Yeah. Uh... So there's... So... Ah, shit. There's something down here. No. Uh, so, there's a block, so here's what we got. We got a block up here, and then down into this, uh, down here is a door locked with a key, and I don't have a key that'll go somewhere. Um, there's four, there's a four relief, there's four relief buttons on that pillar, and, uh, you have easy access up there through that ramp, but that leads to nowhere. And then there is what looks to be a door that can open over here, which is probably triggered by those four pillars. And this ramp's too steep to go climb up it. Shit, I really don't remember how this progresses. City of Ka Moon, more like City of Fuck You. Hmm. Alright, I'm not gonna, I can't, I don't want to stand around just twiddling my thumbs. I'm gonna move this block. Okay, that works. Uh, move. did you already examine the Sphinx? Uh, I, I went underneath it. There's a, there's a key and a door. Is there, there's something up you here? You got the sapphire key? Uh, oh, is it? Oh, okay. No, I didn't. Is it up here? Where'd the sapphire key be? Uh, get up on the Sphinx's chest and then walk around behind? Okay, well, I'm on his chest. Walk around to the back of the head. Back of the head. Wait. Can I, I can't climb up. I don't see key up here. <laughs> and, and that so, says you go under the Sphinx to use the key. So you I know, didn't already do that? I didn't. I don't have the key. I There's no fucking key up in, on its chest. I don't see a key. Oh? It, maybe a video uh, wait hold on i have an idea shimmy shimmy ya uh, shimmy yo shimmy yay uh okay shotgun ammo and yeah okay not look not looking like enough I, this game is just forces you to like be like, hey, have you really checked everything? And I, I mean, 
really checked everything. You find something, you feel like a fucking winner. Alright. Into the Sphinx. Save that. City of Kami. What, uh, what, how many, uh, like, tomb, like, uh, like, uh, explorer action adventure movies took place in Egypt, do you think? Like, ancient, like, doing, like, ruins. I, I, it's probably the second most common after, like, vague jungle setting. Yeah. South America. Jungle book. Ah, what? <laughs> the, the, the panther stunlocked me. Alright, I'm, I'm ready for him this time. Yeah, because Egypt is, like, I would consider it to be, like, it has mythical status. Yeah. It's like, oh, those ancient Egyptians, they, but, you know, they, they had, they had slaves. Any place that there's, like, uh, temple-like structures with, like, catacombs and things, that, that's all, that's all these, like, these adventure series generally care about. Yeah, it, uh, so it's like Mayan temples and uh, pyramids. There was that one uh, game. Uh, it was called uh, Illusion of uh, Gaia, aka Illusion of Time, and uh, and, and, and like a lot of the those games, you were going through like uh, like well known uh, like temples, like Angkor Wat, Great Wall of China, which yeah. made no sense. Because the game took place in, like, a fantasy world, and yet there's all this, like, uh, non-fantasy stuff from, like, the real world. And it turns out in the game, it makes sense. That's and probably the third most common, is, like, Chinese temples. Yeah. Guess what the second game is? It has, like, a lot of... Wow, these these panthers are, are like, am masters of ambushing. I really gotta be using my magnums, but I wanna save them for the bosses. What other do you still have the Uzi? I didn't get the Uzi. I've only got two Uzi clips. I got like like a lot of Magnum ammo though. I had a lot of shotgun ammo. I say I I've saved up on it because I knew that so that I would need it for Okay. What? You again? I guess there were alligators in uh, in in Egypt, or there are crocodile. He's in charge of uh, alabasta. Yeah, I guess there was a lot of uh, that. This feels like a this feels like a trap. They're like uh, crocodiles in the Nile, right? Yeah. Oh yeah, that's how that's how uh, they uh, they killed all those uh, all those young uh, like babies and fucking uh, in print in. Prince of Egypt. That was the name of that movie, right? Prince of Egypt? Yeah. Remember that one Rugrats episode where they were retelling the story of, uh... Well, that's... Moses? that's yeah. Oh, look. <laughs> how did they get... How did they sidestep that fact? I... I don't know. Look. What a cute kitty. Hey, kitty. When's it gonna attack? That's sacred. It's uh, gonna help us out. Cats are sacred, except for the panther tribe. Panther tribe and the mummy tribe have teamed up. Panthers are just jealous. Okay, uh... Well, I'm here now. I, th I think I gotta dive into the water, but first... I just wanna just check everything. OH FUCK! Ow! Why didn't I see that coming? <laughs> that is a lame sound effect, though. Ow! Right. Ever play any shockwave games? Oh, back in the day. So there was one that I'm disappointed. It was a, a paintball game where 
you just point and shoot like people who are going paintballing and yeah. you were fighting against the uh the king of the hill peak guys they had uh you had hank hill going i'm gonna kick your ass except the paint and then bill going can't we all just get along and you're just shooting them and I miss that I don't game. remember any, like, fan-made games from the Shockwave era. I think it was official. Huh. All right, Let's see if I can find this. Yeah. King of the Hill paintball game. Might, have been, might be lost of time like that Furious George in the cross-country crime spirit game. King of the Hill PC game, 2000. What? All right. How I fixed the broken paintball mini game in King of the Hill for PC. It was a it was a mini game. I guess it was part of a larger 2000 game. Okay. Mm, I feel There's like a Reddit post with only like three replies, and the last reply has the has the quote. I'm going to kick your ass, except with paint. I, I'm glad somebody else remembers that game. <laughs> you know, for for a level that kind of worried me with it, having like all this like shit you got to collect, this seems honestly reasonably straightforward so far. Yeah. I'm I'm wor I'm worried for the other shoe to drop. I'm gonna miss one fucking thing, and it's gonna extend the playtime of this level from 30 minutes to an hour. Oh, that's cool. I remember mainly the Shockwave era as when some websites were trying to, like, monetize or, or capitalize on PC gaming. Like, it was real arcade. Yeah, um, there was, uh, yeah, there was people that were, like, uh... What the fuck did that do? You hear that shit? There was, uh... I heard there was, something. The first time I played Spy Hunter was on real arcade. Ooh. I wasn't there before. Some uh, obelisks. The tormentor. Yeah. Remember when I theorized that like uh, that like uh, Ishizu would, was like gonna be uh, like Kaiba's love interest. Yeah. I'm like, oh, they got chemistry. I think I was being. I think that was dumb of me. <laughs> Kaiba didn't really have a lot of chemistry with anyone, to be honest. Kaiba had, Kaiba had, the only amount of chemistry he had was with his money. He had the, Kaiba, Kaiba is perma dick, right? He doesn't yeah. quite, he doesn't suck shit, but he's just like not really a nice guy to anybody. To a degree that it became like funny. Yeah. Because like, it was like so Chloe. over the needlessly over the top oh, that like, like Kaiba, like, what the fuck are you doing at this point? Like Chloe Bourgeois, yeah. yeah. Just, just is like it's just like okay, yeah, you're, you're, you're funny. Yeah. Except you're... Like the main thing to Kaiba was just denial. Yeah. Like standing and looking at blatant magic is yeah. like you dweebs believe in that shit. I don't believe in magic. But Kaiba, we've literally just been warped into the ancient past! <laughs> Poppycock, a it... conjurer's trick. <laughs> but it's real chalk, Kaiba. God. We gotta watch that movie, because that movie's got Christopher Lee in it. What's it called again? Uh, Horror Express. It's just Chris, because it's it's weird. Just you don't you know Christopher Lee the musician. You don't know Christopher Lee the actor a whole lot. I know him a little bit, but he's usually cast in very like intimidating roles where he's usually not a great guy. This this he's actually like a good guy in that one. Well, I yeah, say it's good, rare for him not to be a villain. Yeah, he's not a. Let's well, see, he was either Dracula or Fu Manchu, and you know Count what? Dooku, the, yeah. the the asshole father from Willy Wonka. Uh, the, the asshole wizard from, uh, Lord of the Rings. He was, like, the, the preacher, or the officiator in the Corpse Bride, I think. Uh, he was, was he a villain there, though? He was just kind of, uh, like... 
It wasn't a villain, it was a neutral party in that. Okay, that opens up that cat statue. Uh, let's... Okay, progress. Shit, how do I get down from here safely? Oh, I was... Sand is soft! Laura thinks. How is that a oh. secret? Because there's... Clips down here. Uzi clips. Useless. For now. <laughs> that was great. <laughs> uh, love this game. Alright. Dave. Because we're going into unknown territory. And I hope I didn't miss anything. Oh, what? That hurt me? Damn it. All this ammo, this like ancient Egyptian like magnum ammo. Three, three fifty-seven Bastet rounds. Really makes you wonder why a uh, Doom guy is finding so many med kits in hostile territory. Oh wow! Is this a, a true bottomless pit? Do we finally have one? No, you see that fucking like panther running around. Okay. Does this game have any bottomless pits, or is it just not a thing? No, it's not a thing. Panthers are fucking tanky as shit. They run, they run off the power of the Egyptians' respect for cats. Okay, yep, you're gonna run back. Yep, and then you're gonna take some more hits. Run back. You're gonna take some more hits. There, got him. Remember that miraculous villain who had all the power of all of the Egyptian gods, and all he used it for was to quiz people? Book of Truth, is this true? Yes. You are lying to me! No, I'm not lying, it was... I'm down here. Did you restart stream? What, what do you mean? Are... No. Are we not live? We should be live. Can you hear us, Sandy? We're live on Twitch. Give me a moment. Wait, no, you're fine. You don't need to change anything. Okay. It says you've only been on for 40 minutes. Maybe it dropped at some point and I didn't Probably. notice? Probably. We're recording it, so it'll be uninterrupted on YouTube. No, we've been going for like two hours, fifteen minutes, I think. Yeah, I want to try to get through. But it's hard because I don't know. I I'm flying kind of blind here. Speaking of blind, this, these fucking lighting effects. All right. Uh. Okay. We go. This okay, yes, thank you. Okay, <laughs> okay, you, you've earned you've earned the uh, you've earned the magnums. It's a sign of respect for the holy cat. This fucking guy. Guess I'm climbing up here. Were they cats or is it just is it just a rabid animal? A rabid like mummy. Okay. Uh so we're up here now. I legit am just terrified I'm just missing a whole bunch of shit. Oh like this key! Hello? Yeah, I'm here. Okay. 
Uh, what's this key for then? Okay, so I'm over here now. Okay. Jump. Jump. I wish I had a wildcat sound effect so I could freak you out. <laughs> I know the sound effects here. There's no way there's going to be like a fucking... Like, rawr. Right. Look out, killer duck! <laughs> Dude, that'd be fucking hilarious. Just just like talking about wildlife. Just said just domestic animals after Laura. This house cat. And then a duck. And she then care. Ger she just shoot them all. Gerbils. Well, it'll be funny, though. Okay, Rocky. <laughs> it would be... <laughs> well, no, the fact that the gerbils, like, attack. And they're, they're like, vicious, and you gotta shoot them. I'm not, like, trying to, like... Like say that the, somebody should just kick one while it's just being sitting there being cute. I'm not a monster. Somehow I survived that. <sighs> Dave, that, uh, that time up? Hawk Moth was defeated by a bunch of sewer rats. Hawk Moth is just just not doing well. He's just every he's having a bad season. Yeah, he had everything he ever wanted. And you, and then, it, it just ended up like backfiring on him in the worst ways possible. Cool. Just get a soundboard for next stream. I have the there's the Discord what? feature, but I, I don't have Nitro it. for what it. What the fuck okay. was the point of all the other? Okay. Great, end a level. I okay. I'm gonna use the restroom. I will be right back. You keep oh, the ch okay. keep chat and uh, the stream entertained while I go do that. I I think I've looked into like uh like another soundboard program, but I don't think I'd use it enough to marry like the setup. I'm also not willing to pay like ten ten dollars a month or whatever the Discord Nitro thing is. Are there online soundboards? I'm surely that they won't that won't help me because they won't go through Discord though. How I have stream now I have stream control. So Jack wants to finish Egypt today. That's one level. We got two more after this one. Yeah, I'm back. Just getting some more water. Drinking some more water, rather. I'm legit so surprised two... it didn't take too long. So there's two more Egypt levels, and mm -hmm. then you think the last three levels will be enough for a final like stream? I think so, yeah. That's, uh... It depends. I think so. Let's see. Next level. Obelisk the Tormentor. <laughs> Winged Dragon of Ra. These seem to flow pretty well into each other, these levels, I mean. Imagine somebody doing like a super cut of these levels. Alright, what's the what's the name of this level? Uh, the name of this level is Oh, Obelisk of Kamun. Alright. Oh, uh, you're spoiling yourself on the level names. I didn't look at the at the ones after this. Okay. Kamun. Ah, is Kamun a real place? What's is that? Is that they just make something up? Uh, Kamun. City of Kamun, Laura Croft Wiki. Okay. So I'm gonna guess no. All right. Is there lore for the city of Kamun? Wiki Raider. 
It's always jarring when the music starts because it just comes out of nowhere. Yeah. Hmm. Great. Well, this seems obvious. in here water he introduced the crocodiles to give you like hmm Oh, by the way, the water physics in the alpha were, were hilariously janky. Yeah. If you How did they differ? If you swim upward in the water, you just go shooting out. And you just kind of fly for a little bit. It's fucking hilarious. Yeah, the uh, Tomb Raider wikis are not at all helpful when it comes to Kamun. Yeah, it's probably just a, a nothing place. It doesn't really exist. Ah, shit. Can't shake him. There's a scene in this movie, right? It was called, uh, what was it called? It was called X, this horror movie. And, uh, the, like, one character was, like, swimming in, like, a, in, like, a lake. And she was, like, coming out. And you see, you see like, this, uh, this alligator just coming, just, like, swimming slowly after her. And you're like, oh, no. Oh, no. And then, but she didn't know she it was there. And she got out in time. But, yeah, that was... That was, that was harrowing. Yeah. This is a nice room that appears to serve no purpose. Oh well. It's a folly. St. Francis' folly. What have you been up to, Sandy? You playing any new games lately? Oh, we're back to hearing the crowd sounds again. Yeah, I think this Greece and Egypt use the same ambient, like, uh, level, like, noises. We're being cheered on by a crowd of mummies. Better than being cheered on by a crowd of, crowd of like, ghoulified Romans. Alright. What about vampire Romans? They're just dressed up as, like, fucking... All right, I don't know what the point of that room is. I'm gonna go come back there. JoJo Part Two. They just decide to go to a coliseum and be Roman gladiators for no fucking reason. That was great. Just you gotta wear the uniform of the. Well, that's unfortunate. Fine. What am I playing right now? I. Uh... Almost done with the achievement for Ocarina of Time. Wait, wait, did I just accidentally save instead of using a health pack? Shit. I don't know, did you? I did. I have to resave once I kill this thing. God damn it. I can't, I just... Doing the save, just clicking it automatically. Like, don't know, no reason. Well, that'll lead out. Cool. What's up? I'm playing the first uh, Crash GBA game, and I'm doing all the, like, grindy shit in Budokai 1 again. Oh, yeah? Just, to, just for something to do? Oh, for the achievements. Oh, oh, yeah. Budokai 2 is the really bad one. That's the board game one that Got I never actually completed. Gotta play a board game every time. To get a Dragon Ball and to get what you need. Might as well just fucking... Like, just like 50 times over again. Might as well just fucking, like, uh, like do a fucking, like, hack or something. Yeah. thought Budokai 2 was a fighting game. It is a fighting game, but the campaign mode is, like, it's a board game. And you, uh, you... It's, it's like Mario Party, except when you, like, meet another token, you have a, a fighting game match. Which, honestly, 
That's that's what happened for uh, Soul Calibur three as well. But it's fine in theory. It's just, it didn't need to be as unbelievably grindy as it was to like get everything in the game. Kakarot party. If they made an honest attempt at like a Dragon Ball Z like Mario Party style game, they would sell. If they really wanted to like sell out the franchise, they could. They could. Will they though? I'm oh, honestly a little surprised that they haven't. <laughs> they they did have Dragon Ball Fusions, which was the equivalent of Dragon Ball Beyblades in terms of gameplay. Let it rip. Oh sh Okay. You're getting you're What's getting... a series that I can't imagine taking seriously. Uh I agree, it was a little after my time, but as a child, but even if it wasn't, I, I don't think I could see my my like child self watching people spin tops in an arena and think like, wow, this is the most serious shit. Did you see that uh that solid JJ video on Beyblades? Yeah. That was unfortunate it didn't do so well because I thought it was hilarious. Just <laughs> everything was just taking it so seriously. And they threw it and they were like, oh that that can't be legal. <laughs> Bakugan Battle Brawlers. I couldn't believe that was a thing. I'm like What and what even was that one? It was just little balls that popped yeah, open a, into monsters. It was a card game that with balls that, that pop open into monsters, yes. Wait, it was a card game? Yes. I thought it was just the balls. It had a card. It was a card game. Like, oh. they got they got Kazuchika Okada to like uh, to like sell to like uh, advertise that shit by crossing over. He did. He did his finishing move to like a monster. <laughs> Crazy. I have no idea. I I think the water room is the one I need to go in because. Yeah, it has to be the water room. Obelisk of Ka Moon. So far. Is... Oh, the. What's up? I'm looking at the at the Wikipedia article for Bakugan Battle Brawlers. Apparently, the story opens with them inventing the game. Yeah. Uh, it's a pre-existing card game. The main character finds the cards and it says, "Like, hey, let's let's make a game with this." Wait, he finds the cards and then just they is fall like fall out of the sky. That's that is incredibly dumb. <laughs> like fucking Death Notes. <laughs> The main characters make a game. That's weird. It's like a Pegasus. <laughs> United Passions, the card game. I don't know. I can I can buy like a a, a card game with summonable summonable monsters being like ha having drama to it more than I can buy people aggressively topping at each other. What about what about? Uh... Like fi people firing bottle c bottle caps at each other aggressively. Is that is that seem like uh, like your kind of shit? Like uh, what was that a reference to? Uh, bottle man, or bottle man? Yeah. There. So there was this. Uh, there. You ever heard of it? No. Uh. Or bottle. Yeah. You, you, it's people that fire bottle caps at each other. It was the one with the guy named uh, Kota Coca Cola or something. And then, so this is all news to me. Damn, you gotta look, you gotta look that shit up, man. That's death battle, bottle man versus Pepsi man. Oh, there's the key. <laughs> Good thing I doubled back here. So there's four fucking pillars and then only one of them goes to anywhere and the key in that and the one that goes somewhere is hidden better start exploring yeah oh man somebody burned something outside we need like a uh, we need a marbles anime So that doesn't actually open that door. That just opens the door on the... Oh, no, it does. Does it? 
Wait, it opened both that door up. Th no, it didn't. Was it a shortcut? No. What is the new. lore of these tombs? Asks Sandy. Uh, well, we need to find the ski on before uh, before somebody else does, or else bad things, vaguely bad things, will happen. Did the Easter mummy hide medkits and keys all over? Um, this is the tomb that just claimed a lot of lives, I think. Alright, uh... Nothing here. That, that probably opens up in somewhere else. I don't feel like I would have gotten very far in this game as a kid. You would have. It's. It is pretty non. Uh, what's the word? Okay, I'm probably gonna have to go up here. Fuck. It's. It's very. Um, not stimulating. It's like got. It's like very quiet. It's very probably would have just gotten frustrated and lost interest. Yeah. I never got through. I. Uh, I never got through Gex. First time I played it, I just used the level skip code to go through all the levels just to see what they were all about. <laughs> There is a level skip code. You know, you want to know how to do it. Sure. Yeah, you uh, you take a step forward, take a step back, you spin around three times, and then you jump forward. Stop on your right foot. Don't forget it. Let's do the time warp again. And Wait, then, were uh, you being serious? Yeah. No, that's oh. how that's how you do it. <laughs> I thought you were making a SpongeBob reference. No. No, that's how you do it. You know, you wanna... Always with the... Monk... Okay, you're getting the shot done. Oh, he exploded that time. I beat up uh, the evil Santa in Gex 3. I think I only had Gex 2, and I only got through, like, a couple levels. Um... And then I later bought Gex 1 as an adult, thinking that it was the one I had as a kid, but it wasn't. It was 2D, and it was weird. It makes me feel like I, want to, I should be able to shoot these or something. Oh, well. So I need to extend all the four bridges so I can toggle or get four items. Okay. This is my Everest. I was waiting for her to like brain herself on the chair. Oh, okay. This this will be easy enough. What does this do? Yay! First one. A very snowhead looking room. Yeah. Which I did this game come out before or after Snowhead? It was before. Okay. What? Why why show me down there? Hmm. I'm guessing if I get all once I get all four, it unlocks that door. Eye of Horus. Hey, we can uh, we can get through that uh, that one path uh, in Spelunky now. And drop the drill. Da -da -da -da. Um. I wonder. I kind of think I can use that bridge to, like, make some impossible jumps. Yeah? I, I, I think I can do it. I think I can do it. I'll try it. <gasps> yes! <laughs> How did that work? Fuck you, game!
Wait, did that not? Are they on to you? What did that do? That should have done something, right? Did they say nope? Might have just fucked myself. I'm gonna I'm gonna reload. Well hmm. That was risky. Okay, it showed down here once I grabbed it, so maybe I have to go in here. No. Any uh, any hints from uh from the gut from the hitmaster? Uh, big room with column and four draw bridges. I got I got the eye of Horus. Maybe I did that in order by act. I'll double check some of these uh, other column rooms. Drop in the water, pick some magnum clips, climb out under the ledge below the tall column with the artifacts for shotgun cells. Yep. On the south wall, opposite the carved door, are a series of alcoves separated by greenish stone blocks. Okay, it wants me to go there. The rightmost alcove is actually a door. Cool. All right, well, let's, that's, uh, that's better than nothing. Oh, I see you. I see what you mean now. Heard that music again. Oh, fuck. Leave me alone, cats. No, I don't. Oh, no, they know how to climb. Ah. Such serene, mysterious music as she gets mauled to death by two panthers. It, it doesn't seem like they really know what to do. I go up slightly high and then they're just like, well, fuck. She's like three feet off the ground. We can't reach her. That was fucking embarrassing. <sighs> fucking embarrassing. All right. So your ammo and med kits are like they're consistent throughout the yes, game. Yes. What you have is what you have. Yeah. You don't. You don't really get more as like the level begins. I. So. Yeah, I don't want to try sequence breaking because I don't know, like, how like the levels work. Right, climb up. And... Okay, what would be the most hilarious, like, uh, protagonist to try and... Do that? Never mind. I was, like, thinking, like, these kinds of levels, but with a different character. But, I, but then I was thinking, like, Laura doesn't really snark throughout this. Yeah. She's just, like, doing this quietly, just going, ugh. And Solid you know, Snake would be very out of place here. <laughs> Solid Snake. Snake, you have to infiltrate, like, these, uh, temples. Fucking, what? like... Why? <laughs> Wait, is this gonna try to prevent me? Is this here to prevent me from making that jump? Is that why it's there? Well, you can, like, step to the side of it, right? Yeah. We believe some terrorists are hiding a Metal Gear beneath the Egyptian pyramids. How did it get down there? Sneaking mission. Yes, gotta gotta evade the Panthers. They're gonna get in their walkie-talkies. What? There's the alert sound. Good <laughs> deed. Oh, I've been spotted. Can you make a distraction? 
What do you want me to do, Snake? Throw some meat on the floor? That's totally what he would do. Cardboard, <sighs> cardboard box with hieroglyphics on it. All right. That's something we could try again. With Metal Gear Solid. Yeah. Nah. Well, I mean, you've you've seen it how it how it's played. Yeah. You, you pretty much, pretty much nothing is like past you now. Well. Fuck. Over here. Now I'm over here. Now I'm over here. They're, they're funny games lore-wise. I just don't think they're worth the time commitment because they're long games. Oh, yeah. I just killed myself. <laughs> when did I last save? Okay. Yeah, this isn't too bad. I know you're coming, asshole. Magnum's time. Yeah. Kojima is, like, Im very imaginative when it comes to, like, his games, so... I just killed myself Both again! Camera. <laughs> That's a fucking action shot! <laughs> okay, attempt- You sure you don't want a shotgun? It's not much better, and I've only got, like, nine shots from it because I've whiffed, like, a bunch of other ones. But yeah, sure. Shotgun. There's a kind of tight quarters for this fight. But why does it explode? <laughs> Look, I'm just going to let you know right now, some, there are some types of enemies that are just going to explode from now on. You just, you just got to accept it. found a, a, a gif I showed you that uh, apparently if you make it so that the mini golf ride and roller coaster tycoon can have incomplete tracks then the guests will walk off and explode yeah explode because everything that goes off a track in roller coaster tycoon explodes yeah, that lowers that one down I think this is going to be another linear episode, like, level. You mean the next one, or the rest of this one? I think the rest of this one is going to be... Well, I don't know. I'm going to level it with you right now. I, I'm i flying pretty much blind. I thought I knew, like, more about this about this uh, part than I did, and I don't, and I am... I am, I am a disgusting rank amateur. But see, here's the thing. I, do I want to go down there or do I want to go in the thing behind me? I don't know. Let's go behind me. Let's see where that goes. Oh, I died. Jumped a little too far. I have to. I'm gonna have to be more careful. There what we are go. some other games that you uh, played as a kid but haven't really replayed since? Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll some. I don't, I don't remember off the top of my head. Uh, I've replayed pretty much all the games that I grew, grew up with. Toys. Toys? Is it a game? Yeah, there's a game called Toys. Terrible. All isometric and shit. Yeah, D6 strat. For consistent damage. Is there one more? I don't know what that what that switch did. Oh, right, whatever. And the solution will present itself. Yeah, it was isometric, and then it had like a bunch of weapons that did random shit. Like they moved sporadically, and that was your only like real consistent way of defending yourself. And then you had to take out like security cameras with a squirt gun, and and, and the cameras could, could sometimes move in like different ways. You gotta look up footage of that. Was it uh, Toys with the Z? It was just Toys. T-O-I-S. It was based off the movie of the same name. It was a Robin Williams movie. Action video game for the Super NES and Sega Genesis, released in 1993. I didn't know it was for the Sega. I'm not surprised, though. Okay, yeah, so it's a movie tie-in game. That, that makes sense that it would be terrible. Yeah, uh... What the movie was about? Wait, I... Hold on. Oh, okay. I see what happened. 
So it was just literally like a trap room. I, I did, so over here is the way I was supposed to go after all. Yeah, so toys, uh, this guy was like trying to make like, is this like a toy factory dude? And his uh, son, played by Robin Williams, was like kind of childish. He wanted him to like grow up. So he decided to give like the factory to his like uncle who's like all, his brother who was all into like war shit. And his uh, son was LL Cool J. Okay. Okay, wait. What? Oh, what the fuck? Okay, I guess I'm going down then. Not there, the other way. Reception. Okay. Mega described the game as a poor quality game using a film license for a plot, giving the addiction factor 1 out of 10. Game Addic was included in an episode of Wes and Larry's Top 10s, in this case, Top 10 Worst Movie Licenses, and came forth. Oh, that's it? Was, the was described by Larry as mind-numbingly monotonous. And he ended the slot by saying, this is one toy you definitely want to keep out of the reach of small children. <laughs> I get it. So I... That's the whole Wikipedia section. Yeah. Yep. That's probably lethal. Four out of five stars on GamePro. Why? What do they have to say about that? T talk what to me. What is GamePro? Is it a magazine? Yeah. Yeah, game magazine website? Yeah. Okay, survive that. Does not feel like intended progression, but okay. Now. Oh, this is the this is the studio that made a boy in his blob. That made toys? Yeah. So they should have known better is what you were saying. All right. I don't see any other, like, successful games from them. So they made one game that was, like, relatively successful. No, nope, hold on. They have another gem on their on their list. They made Home Improvement on the Super NES. Was oh, that the one where they where they just didn't make an instruction, like, an instruction manual for it? Real men don't need instructions. Yeah, I know, I know that, that, that the instruction manual, I haven't seen the game though god uh. Uh. wait so so there's one like switch that that uh causes the slope to activate that tur okay whatever i i see where i need to go now uh what's a really bad tie-in games are there the the exception for the bad tie-in game rule was probably Goldeneye. Yeah, that that game was uh, was well received. That one was very successful. There were a couple of good Disney ones. Jungle Book. I played through Jungle Book actually on the SNES, and I and you have two boss fights with King Louie. Yeah. yeah. You just throw bananas at him. The whole game felt like a like a really frenetic shooter. It's like there's two ways to make uh why am I here? What did this accomplish? Oh, okay, I see. Tony Hawk isn't necessarily like a movie tie-in, but the games are probably better known than the person by now. Yeah. <laughs> it's funny you mentioned Tony Hawk. Yeah. N n nothing. Probably won't probably won't matter until later. What's this? Okay, the switch. What did that do? Okay, it's probably these are probably stairs now. Yep, they are. Just doing this, pulling the switch, and me being all pissed off, being like, "Well, what did that accomplish?" And then, oh, okay, that makes sense. Wait, make him go on. Uh... <laughs> Yo, who is this? P, P. Let me hear him say. Let me hear you say. Uh. Let me hear you say. This ain't no motherfucking P. Only got five shells left. It's so another thing that doesn't scale is the uh, menu item noises. I missed. Hit.
When did I not save? Shit! Oh. These enemies spawn like on top of you. And you just, they're too fast for you to like get away from and make oh, a distance. I didn't save in a while. Shit. Oh, whatever. God damn. God damn, I say. Uh, the home improvement games were pretty terrible. Not not home, Wait, uh, did... home home alone. Yeah. Get out of here, Dennis. Wasn't there like a? I'm trying to think, there was like a a game where like you, if you lose, then Mr. Wilson just spanks you or something. Yeah. I don't know. You're <laughs> that, that's Dennis the Menace, not Home Alone, but uh, yeah, Dennis. Yeah. The, sorry, Home. Wait, oh yeah, there was a, a a couple of Home Alone games. Sandy says he has Home Alone on the NES. You own it? Okay. Does it play like uh, Die Hard on the NES? Oh, that was another movie licensed game. Die Hard on the NES. It played. It played like a, uh, like kind of interesting. Home Alone was one of those games that was you just like walking through a house and being assaulted by household objects, which there are a surprising number of. Yeah, it, like yeah. Garfield. You remember the Garfield game? Oh, yeah, I do. That was a, uh, that was a. Uh, I was on a, a GDQ. Uh, That's the one with like the worst attack animation in any game ever. Yes. Uh, the, the, the... Sends your sends your attack hitbox by zero pixels. I remember, uh, oh, that was, okay, I have a funny story about, about that game. So, yeah. so the GDQ of that game, uh, came out, and, uh, and the, the funny part of that game was, uh, that part where, uh, where, like, the runner began, he jumped on a skateboard, and then he's like, all right, we're beginning, and uh, now it's time to read donations, and everybody just started laughing. It, <laughs> Magnums aren't that much better, I notice, than, like, the pistols. Well, it was probably, like, cut the time in half. Yeah. Okay. Probably right. I'm, I'm having to backtrack because I didn't save in a while. This game, I, I like this game, I just... I, I, I'm just kind of bad at it. I really like Google bad tie-in games. The worst tie-in games. Um, where's that one, uh... Remember, uh, uh, what was it? The the Axel Foley, Beverly Hills Cop on the PlayStation Two. Was that a game? It was a game. It was a like incredibly terrible game that I I think Vinny said is like an incentive for charity one year that he would play more of it because it was so insufferable to play. Uh, and I guess he didn't meet the uh, charity incentive yet. No, he did. He did a full stream of it. Oh, well, it was two hours, zero minutes, and zero seconds. That stream went off he said i'm done okay um i got a tie-in game but it's surprisingly apparently it looked surprisingly decent it was a yeah. tie-in for uh, the show world's wildest police chases i didn't even know that was a show that was a show it was on spike uh went back in the in like the dog days of cable uh, my parents would watch it sometimes and i would too just because there was really nothing else and uh and it had this the narrate this narrator who was like, wherever you go, no matter what, you will never escape from the law. World's wildest police videos. Yeah. Tonight, man tries to outrun the law, but can't outrun his own fate. <laughs> and then there was a game, and they got the narrator. And I'm like, what? <laughs> you just go, and you're do and it's, it's like a PS1 driving game. Where you just like fighting like criminals and they had missions and stuff. Well, it must not have been very hard to get. What the? Oh, the narrator. Him? Yeah, I think he was like an actual like police cop or something with like a narrator voice. Are you guys talking about the Garfield game where he just kicks everything? Yes. Yeah. And the kick does not like actually go in front of Garfield at all, so it's exactly the same hitbox size so as his normal hitbox. So it's a worse attack than the Lagoon Sword. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, 
the Lagoon Sword was pretty shit. And but the, the, it would have worked if it like they kept the original combat system, which is basically you hold it out and you charge into stuff like in this yeah. or something. But then then they they just were like, hey, let's make it like Zelda. And they didn't. But keep it like the sword, like two pixels long. Yeah, and and you know what? It didn't work out. Fancy and that. They, they tried it and they said, oh well, print it. Uh, the Friday the 13th NES game. Who Haunted Mansion. Uh, yeah, that... Wasn't that four-player? That was, like, one of the only four-player NES games. Was it? It was, yeah. If you get, like, a multi-tap, you could get, like, four players. E.T. is infamous, but that's too easy. Yeah. Okay, this is, this is where... Okay, I'm caught up now. Got my mags. I think there was a easier. Fight Club game. I played that. That game. That game. That game's bad, like in, in the best way possible. Fucking explosions! There was a tie-in game for some like really, really crass, just shitty British comedy show that I can't remember the name of. Uh. Oh, wow, there's multiple switches up here. It was like all the... Was it, uh... What was it? I'm curious now. I don't know if I'll be able to find it. Oh. Alas. Well, I got the third one, but I don't know where that... What does that lead to? Okay. Okay, I have a route. I had a route. Can I jump back up? No. Does the Smurfs dance party count? The Smurfs dance part? What? Yeah, there was a there was like a, a a just dance type game after the Smurfs movies with original songs all of the there was some original songs and there was a lot of like pop songs that were rewritten to be about smurfs that sounds lame that where the, that was the uh, golden age of like shitty knockoff like tie-in games huh that i, I felt sorry dance. for the poor like actors because like the gargamel dude was there doing the dancing and everything oh it was like the live action yeah yeah, this is back before video games became, like, prestige, like, entertainment or something. Uh, what about, um, this might help that, i top it off just in case. Uh, what about, sorry, I'm trying to think about what I, I had it and I lost it. Shit. One more. We're almost done with this level. Have you saved recently? Okay, I'm there doing you go. It now. Okay, from from here I can go over to that bridge. I'm gonna level with you. This this level it's not obvious like what I'm supposed to be doing, and yet I'm able to do it. So, so I guess it's not hard. Like here, do I go down or up? I don't know. I'm going to go up first. You've made a lot of drops onto platforms that seemed like kind of impossible to see. I, you'd have to like have known they were there before you started shimmying. Yeah, I, I, I used the, I used the look button to like kind of. There we go. Okay, health pack. Yeah. Oh, a secret! Yay! I haven't gotten those in a while. Oh, a magnum ammo. I could use that. Yeah, the magnums uh, are, are much more useful than just trying to plink away at them with the pistols, but I don't want to, like, waste them. Uh... Oh! Yeah, there's a Yu Yu Hakusho Game Boy Advance game. Okay. 
Yeah, you know. Was it a fighter? No. It played like Would Final. Would the trading card game? No, it, it played like Final Fantasy Tactics. Oh, okay. You, you were you recruited like your use use case and then uh, and then and then like uh, Korobara and stuff and then you would just go through levels and then yeah and it was just a, it was just a tactic game and I think it used I I want to say it used the same engine as Final Fantasy Tactics but like you know stripped down they didn't use like job system and stuff you just level up I remember that game because I ended up like being so annoyed with the soundtrack I just turned it off and played it. Without like sounds. Wait, no, I didn't want to do that, Laura. There we go. So you gotta look that up. It was I I, I I'm not I'm not crazy. I swear. Uh, hmm. Okay, so I need to go down. Are you looking it up or are you doing nothing? Uh, sorry, I'm, I was still trying to find that like shitty British comedy, and I just I just can't. What were you saying? Was it Father Ted? No, that's that's Irish. No, and I don't think it's shitty. It seemed it seemed all right. It was a uh, it was that uh, one Final Fantasy Tactics esque Yu Hakusho game. Yu Hakusho GBA. Yeah, I think I think there was like a trading card game. I'm sure there Yu was. Yu Hakusho Spirit Detective. It was just the dark and tournament, then tournament tactics. Yeah, that's the one. Tournament tactics. That's the that's the strategy game. Yeah, it's isometric. It it looks like Mario RPG. Uh, it's grid based tactics. I think. It looks like Mario RPG. Really? Just graphically. Okay. Okay. And oh shit! <laughs> Every single fucking time, just damn it! Damn it! Oh, I'm back up here. The, why are the mummies the, the the hardest fucking enemies to like fight? Well, they are like mummies. They're ma they're magical creatures. Nothing else in this game has been magical creatures. <laughs> just suddenly fucking mummies, and then I'm just like blindsided every single time. Little Britain. Little Britain. Is that like Little Bush? Uh, I don't think so. Did they make a video game based off of any off any of the offices? The office video game. It is. On Dunderpedia. Dunder P Developed by Mumbo Jumbo, featuring the characters from the show as bobblehead dolls. What? Okay, what how does it what's the game about? Trying to load the office wiki. Good. Yeah, it's a PC game. Yeah. Okay. Dude, there's a bunch of like shitty South Park games. Oh yeah, there's a uh, there was like the N64 era in particular that they were just like shoving them out. Yeah, I wonder if Matt Stone and Trey Parker like signed off on them. They're being like. Yeah, this is good shit. It I think there was a shit. story behind why they were happening, but I don't remember what it was. Well, I mean, you I think there was also a lot of canceled game ideas at the time. Oh. So what was is? Do you know what like the uh, what it was all about? Like, is it possible to find out or? What, 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 what was about? The Matt Stone Tree Parker's fucking, like... Uh, I, I, probably not in the scope of this stream. Oh, damn. The, the Office game looks like a, like a mobile game. Makes sense. Okay, now I gotta climb out. I hope I don't have to, like, like, uh, go to the... 
I probably don't. I can probably get out without having to touch the bottom and have to fight those fucking mummies. Yeah, get fucked, mummies. I'm not dealing with your shit. Are you and Jack going to stream Anticipation on NES? I, what is that? Is anticipation. Mummies go. In. All right. Nope. I can't believe I remembered that show. The only reason I know about Father Ted is because there were several worm sound banks for it. Oh, yeah? I don't believe it. <laughs> then... Like, what, this guy who's in an Irish parish and... And, uh, he just keeps getting into, like, these wacky misunderstandings. Yeah. I think that's how that show goes, right? Little Britain TV series. Criticism. The program, particularly the second and third series, have been criticized for treatment of racial and ethnic minority groups and punch down comedic style. Oh, that's and always fun. Sounds about right. When was the show released? Uh, early 2000s. Uh, that, that sounds about right. In, in Britain. Yeah. Alright, is that... Alright, we've got it! Uh, the, the way forward is now open. I think, I think that's the last of that section. I think I remember uh, the second game, and especially the third game, having more variety with how puzzles are solved. So. Yeah. More, uh, more mechanics. Yeah, more mechanics. Uh... It's mostly blocks and switches in this game, it seems like. Yeah. I won't say Keys. Keys. Open doors. Oh, wow. It's like, a, it's like an expanded version of Adventure for the Atari. <laughs> that's... I would say that's a bit harsh, but, you know, that's fair. I wouldn't say it was necessarily a bad thing. Pegs of bubbles. Definitely at this point of the game, it, it feels more puzzle than platformer. Yeah. Well, there was a lot of platforming. I was climbing up and stuff, trying to avoid getting to the, hitting the bottom and then getting, like, attacked by those mummies. How conscious do you think they were in choosing this camera angle for the swimming? I think they weren't like. Uh, just wait, respectfully waiting. Mummies don't like water. Why does it have like? Why does it have adrenaline tubes? Good question. Well, one. It provides it with a constant flow of formaldehyde. I'm in the water again. Yep, it exploded. It's so over the top. That's not, uh... That's not fucking uh, adrenaline, that's nitroglycerin. Is this, is this still level 2 of Egypt? This is still level 2 of Egypt, yes. Um, this is the cistern of Egypt. And Do you after... still think we're gonna complete Egypt today? Uh, I don't know, my head's turning pretty bad. We might have to save the rest for, uh, for the next time we yeah, do this I'd... game. I think we could do four of the final four levels in one stream. Probably. Uh... A lot more mummies start? now. This stream we started with the cistern, so this will be four levels. Yeah, and, uh, yeah, uh, it's weird because 
I would say that like like three uh, three has the longest levels in the uh, yeah. in, in in the whole entire trilogy. Where are we? <gasps> oh, we're we've circled back. Is that good? This is this is City of Kamun again. <laughs> it did great. So, so they, I know what they did. <laughs> That's why I was so confused. I of Horus. Anticipation, NES. Why, why did Sandy bring that up? Yeah, look up in Anticipation. A video board game developed by Rare and released by Nintendo. Okay, I, I've heard of it. It's a, uh, it's like some kind of, like, like NES uh, fortune-telling machine. Combines gameplay elements from Pictionary and Trivial Pursuit. Oh, really? Okay, I don't know what this is then. Is I, I guess it's like a like a board game game on the NES. Oh, oh, like uh, like Bible Buffet. All right. Oh, that was only thirty eight minutes. That felt like much longer. Yeah. Okay, this is Sanctuary of the Sky on now. Um, if this is like if this is like uh, the other. Uh, tomb, then this might actually go quickly. You, can you do one more? Uh, sure. Okay. Right. Every time, it automatically switches you back to your default weapons. I'm ready this time. Magnum's all the way. 800 How shots. How long have we been going? We've been going just over three hours. Okay. I'm so gonna guess four hours. I'm gonna bet this is still gonna take a while Let's vote for one more level. Anticipation sounds like the equivalent of like one Mario Party mini game. See, it's easy to take them out when they're like, when they're like obviously coming at you. In a big open space. Yeah, I I am at my strongest when I'm fighting in a big open space, and I'm at my weakest when I'm having to just fucking like fight in like uh, in like corridors and shit. Also because, like I said, you, they start at a distance from you here. And in the other situation, you were, like, climbing up into them. And then you had no chance to build some distance. Yeah. Kind of stinky how this was the only Tomb Raider the Saturn got. <laughs> I mean, the Saturn was lower tech than the PS1, so... I, I wouldn't be surprised if it couldn't handle the later games. Is this another fucking Sphinx? We're on the backside of another fucking Sphinx. That's his brother, the Sphonx. Sphonk. There's no Sphinx Fun. in this universe, because it was it's not as popular because it was just buried. You know it had uh, it had paint, but then uh, but then the paint like got worn off. That's why it looks the way it does. Probably was really something. Okay. Uh. Well. Time to wander a bit until I figure out where I'm going. Up here? No. Oh, that was weird. Uh. M okay. They. Those are no longer mummies. Those look like zombies. You see that shit? Yeah. Oh, guess... Very fleshy. Okay, we came out from there. They were just here, just chilling. Anybody could have come in here and then had to fight these, like, mummy things. I wonder if she can use her nin ability to, to like, uh, enhance, like, other guns. Yeah. What? 
But you didn't. Can they shoot stuff as well? Okay. So that's our destination. Is uh, underneath underneath the uh, Giga Sphinx. So. Darling in the Sphinx. <laughs> Those are the the the, the Bronx have like I guess that's how they're pronounced, right? I, I guess. Bronx. They have uh what I would think are like the the most realistic humanoid looking robots. Because they got like eyes and pupils and shit. Yeah. Yeah, to the point where I, like, saw, like, fan art of them, and I'm, like, thinking, oh, they just humanized them. And I saw them, and I'm like, oh, that's how they actually look like? What the fuck? Big O kind of looked like a giant Egyptian statue. Big O looked awesome. Big O, Big O was, like, was like my, one of my favorite giant robots, because it just looks like a fucking giant robot. It look, it's, it's glorious looking. I wonder if Gigantor was any in any like uh, Super Robot Wars games, because that's such an early one. It's so derpy looking compared to everything else in those games. I I don't think so. I wonder oh, Super Robot Wars probably isn't even a isn't even a thing anymore. What's like, the Super mean, Robot Wars franchise been up to? I like to think they are. I, List of Super Robot Wars video games. Going rock climbing today. It's a long list. Oh yeah? They're, they're still doing stuff? Uh Super Robot Wars 30, released in 2021. Okay. 30th anniversary, probably. What uh what uh franchises were uh were Mobile Suit Z Gundam? Okay. S S S S Gridman. Okay, I heard of that one. Ultraman. Yeah, that's a uh, Evergreen. Mazen Kaiser, Code Geass, Lelouch of the Rebellion Three. Is that there's the... a three? Three. Not Lelouch believe... of the Resurrection, because we watched that. Is that what it was titled in? Uh... Okay, I'm gonna save. This looks sketchy. At least it seems like I'm going the right direction. What does this do? Alright, that side door. I'll have to go back down somehow. Oh. Oh, I fell ass in into some ammo. Nice. Oh! They can fly now! We've got flying zombies? Class demons? Something. There's just there's flesh creatures here. Yeah, they're uh The Panthers why add Panthers then? We're gonna see a pan I'm gonna see a Panther and I'm gonna suddenly just Oh by the way, no uh no scarab beetles, no scarab swarms to eat you. Yeah. Okay. On the uh board games thing, I was thinking about doing like a group multiplayer stream of sonic shuffle i just haven't gotten yeah. around to uh i need to either find a, a safe file that's complete or else like beat the game again myself i don't really want to do that yeah that's uh i i wouldn't re want you to play through sonic shuffle again because if we were to do a group stream i would want to have like all the all the extra characters yeah do you also want a precious stone Sonic Shuffle. I can't believe I thought, like, oh, this could be a good game, and then it ended up being really bad. I, it could, it might be tolerable in multiplayer. Still not as good as Mario Party, though. It probably, it probably is alright in multiplayer. It's just that the... The cheating AI was a real downfall of that game. Yeah. It's beating on my VMU. Uh, we would, we'd be emulating it, Sandy. 
Upload your memory card file. All right. Uh, uh, I, 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 maybe, I wonder. Okay. I I'm, I'm sure it's possible, but you need some special uh, thingamajig to get it off of the MU. Now it, it it looks stinky on hardware. I I can probably just get a complete save for it. I'm pretty sure I did that for like JoJo or something. Oh yeah. Some other Dreamcast game we did. Uh, what? Okay, I I now I know and I now really know what to do. Tricky, tricky platforming. Okay. So what I need to do rather than go forward is do this. Ha! Yes. Sucks how the four unlockable characters are behind being the story mode. Yeah. Crash Bash also made that mistake. They locked mini games behind completing the story. Yeah, and it's just like it really you... defeats the purpose of a party game. At least with Mario Party, it locked stuff behind like uh, coins you would collect throughout like games. What the? And it it only really locked like the mini games if you wanted to play them by themselves. Okay, that is a key. I don't know who really did that anyway. That's interesting that there's a key down here. I wonder what it's for. As far as I know, every Mario Party game you could like boot up and play on a board with people just immediately. Yeah, we're... no setup required. Good thing I saw that. I hope I didn't miss anything else. Uh, man, honestly, was... that sucks about fighting games too. Like, yeah. ones that lock characters if you just want to, like, boot up and play once. Yeah, two, Tekken 3, you had to, like, beat the story mode, like, multiple times in order to, like, fucking just get your, uh... Hey, ice cream, man! There's no ice cream man over here. Then again, yeah. I can't have any, so... Too late. Imagine playing this game without the quick save feature. Uh, oh, playing the... Playing the... Yo, oh, just... You mean just playing Tomb Raider with on PlayStation? I get... Yeah, that had... You've had save crystals you had to rely on for that. Yeah. And fewer of them in the Saturn version. <laughs> right, so that unlocks here. It would... Just that door, okay, and... Oh, more centaurs. <laughs> Does Laura's house in this game have the creepy butler? No, that's, that's not till later. I'm simply one hell of a butler. Winston's cool. I, I like Winston. It's funny every time. They have no reason to explode. <laughs> Alright. That'll go on top of the Sphinx, so we're gonna need to start climbing again. But how do slowly I... slowly follows you around the whole mansion. Oh, like Watson and Sherlock Holmes. You remember that? Was, was that there... Sherlock Holmes game where Watson would just like teleport like a weeping angel every time you're off he was off your screen? <laughs> that sounds hilarious. Oh, I haven't used this other move in a while. Okay, oh. but this guy walks good. Jumpy, jumpy jump. Whoop. Useless. Cool, but imagine doing that in front of Pierre. <laughs> oh no. Alright. Okay, I don't want to go down there. I need to climb back. Uh. 
No, wait. Shit, I. Okay, now I know, I know where I'm going. <laughs> I, I caught that. Okay, the exit's that way. Got it. What I'm gonna do probably is uh, is, well, if I if we ever if you ever like forgive me and decide to do two two and three with me at some point in the future, I'm gonna do a dry run of those just so I know where exactly what the fuck I'm doing. All right, I don't know. I imagine they're longer than this one. Yeah, which means it'd be necessary to cut down on time. I I should have been better prepared for this one. I don't remember if two is longer. I uh, I do know that you three is definitely the most longer. linear. Yeah, two has like levels that uh, are typically more in the lines of like caves, uh, where you just go from point A to point B, and then three is very much uh, like uh, Midas Palace Midas or Vilf Bomba. I'm gonna look it up out of curiosity. How long to beat Tomb Raider? Main story, 15 and a half hours. Yeah, that sounds about right. So we're on track for that, kind of. I think we're gonna be under that if we manage it in three streams. It's gonna be like 11 or 12 hours. Yeah. What is the actual title of the second Tomb Raider game? Uh, Tomb Raider 2 starring Laura Croft. There's no entry for Tomb Raider, Tomb Raider starring Laura Croft for the Game Boy Color. No, it, it's just Tomb Raider 2. And there Tomb is Ra no result for Tomb Raider 2. They don't... Oh my, that that is heartbreaking to, for me. Okay, it's Tomb Raider II. It's that too. <laughs> Tomb Raider... Tomb Raider Roman numerals too, because yeah. Oh, sorry, not Greek and numerals too. Uh, Tomb Raider Two is estimated at the same as Tomb Raider One. Okay, and it's and more linear. Tomb Raider, that's yeah. about fifteen and a half hours. Tomb Raider Three is twenty hours. That's still not bad. Okay. Tomb Raider Two: The Golden Mask. Yeah. Uh. Oh. So, so Tomb Raider One has like an expansion pack. I don't know if I'm if I'm gonna do that if I want to do that on stream just because it's like I'm it's I never played that. So the Golden Mask is the expansion pack for two. Yeah, and then there's one for three, called the Lost Artifact. Uh, the one for one is uh, called Unfinished Business. Right. Get that switch before? I don't think I did. I feel. I can hear like a specific Crash Bandicoot track in this level. It was like it was like in the dark temple levels in Crash One. I gotta go somewhere fucking else. Get back up on the Sphinx. I certainly hope not. Okay. Save. Almost done with this. We're getting through this level. Getting through it. Ah! They don't seem very threatening. They're less threatening than the ones on the ground. They're just flapping their wings and then I shoot them and then they explode. Why the quacking, though? I don't know reason. Just keep me you on your toes. Jump! That's gonna kill me. The sand's not soft. So I went up here, and I opened the door. Scrooge McDuck jumps into a pile of hard metal coins, breaks every bone in his body. I'm surprised that that's... That, you gotta suggest that to solid JJ, like... Hey, uh, how about one where Scrooge McDuck breaks his body jumping into, like, metal coins? I have bad news for you, Jack. That was a Family Guy bit. Y you know who could do it better? Solid JJ. Yeah. 
wonder how damage is calculated. Okay, I climbed up in front. I climbed up to the right, which means that the only way up now is to the left. By process of elimination. I'm glad we have uh, streaming and Parsec working on your end again. I'm glad to. Like, Potentially uh, opens up some things for the future. Yeah, it's, it's holding up pretty well as well. So I'm, uh, I'm hopeful. Maybe I just have to. Maybe I just have to climb up the Sphinx the hard way. Yeah, probably. I'm overthinking it. Oh yeah, I'm overthinking it. Interesting uh, glitching there on that level physics. A uh, Sphinx with an afro called uh, the Sphinx. There was a. Uh, there was that one uh, superhero in Mystery Men called the Sphinx. Yeah. And he's like, "What's his superpower? Well, he's terribly mysterious. That's it. That's that's, it? that's his power. He's mysterious." And he's there, like, "Oh, he can also cut guns in half with his mind." How? We don't know. That's the mystery. All right. I need a second to. Uh... Seems like I need a second to uh, Ankh, which is where that other door comes in, which is high up, and I don't know where the high up door is. Oh, it's over here. When did I save? Oh, over here. That's not too bad. It'll save me a trip, actually. A uh, Sphinx made in Source Engine called uh, the Sphinx. The Sphinx? Yeah. Skibbity Sphinx? Have you? Sphinx co-op. <laughs> oh, Sven, I get it. Uh, what? Have you ever, uh, seen any, uh, videos, Skibby Toilet videos? Uh, that's... some, like, Vine Sauce clips. Oh, yeah. I don't understand it any more than he seems to. I get it completely. Yeah. I, uh, it's, it's actually not that hard. <laughs> Once I got past the weirdness of, like, the fucking, like, toilet and shit, I... I just was like, and and I'm just like, oh, this is just a story of good versus evil. Because the first ones were just, like, weird stuff for, the, for, like, just for the sake of having, like, weird stuff. But then it just is, like, the lore uh, is, of the toilet is just, like, the, the cameramen. I'm versus... sorry, the lore? There is lore, yes. <laughs> the music. <laughs> it sounds like you know way more about it than I do. I just watched it, and then I'm just like, oh, okay, so but if you flush them, they die. And then they, and it seems like like they were just. But you doing... say it. I thought it was just like them. a meme. It's them. But, but it's, you describe okay, just... it's a series of some kind. Yeah, Skibbity, uh, the uh, the guy. It was made by a guy called What the Fuck Boom or something, or Da Fuck Boom. That's the name of the guy, and. uh... And, uh, he's, he, from what I gather, everybody's like, don't watch any of these other ones. They're just trend chasers. Just watch the ones he made because they're the ones that, uh, that's the canon lore. Yes. And I just, I just watched them and I'm like, yeah, I get it. Is this the one I'm going up to? Oh, fuck me. I don't know. Oh, no, I can't because it's, uh... Oh, that was- that could have been really bad. Oh, well, it wouldn't have been. I've fallen down here before. Ugh. <sighs> having a lot of trouble knowing where to go next. I gotta get two onks. I opened up the switch for another one on a, that's on another climb, but I gotta st I'm overthinking this again. I just gotta start climbing again.
Yeah, so... So the cameramen were, like, teaming up with, like, the speaker men, I guess, and then... And every it's just like an escalating arms race where like they score a victory and then and then the and then the skibbities I get I it just like I, I don't even know what you mean by cameramen and sound men. You gotta watch them. You gotta the clearly. I, it's great. You, you find something new to like talk about and then and then you just try to explain the lore and everybody just considers like acts as if you're just like losing your mind. Like, well, I just like, don't know anything about. It. I don't think you're losing your mind. I just don't know what you're talking about. I probably lose. I probably sound like I'm losing my mind to people who would watch this. I'm losing my mind right now because. Uh, yeah. Okay. Head for the back left side of the Sphinx. I went. I was there before. That was. Uh, Pick up some Magnum clips near the door and enter. I already got that. That onk. Yeah, here back that here. Says, yeah. That's supposed to be the second onk, according to this. I did it out of order. All right, what's the, what's the first onk? Turn to the Sphinx is on Laura's left. Walk forward along the sandy ledge. Where does this think we are? So I got that switch up there. Which opened up a door somewhere else. I'm gonna go on the other the other arm and see if I can find it. Oh, that might be a bit high. Yeah, that's too high. Egypt. Up here? Nope. So that was that's the switch I grabbed that opened up the bottom left, and so the other one opened up another one somewhere. Jeez. Okay. Wait, I got a key now. No, I didn't. I just grabbed the onk. The key was for in that same room. No, because I came out the back of the, of the... No, I am going up there. Fucking shit. This is what... I didn't know, I didn't know where I was going. Now the real question is how do I get up there? There's an invisible platform in this stage apparently. Oh, is there? Which, that seems kind of bullshit. Only the penitent man may pass. Penitent, penitent. Nope. Yep. Got punished again. She so said you hit a switch on the top right of the sphinx yeah that opens up the one uh, to the place i'm trying to get at i'm gonna have to climb climb and then yeah yeah i think i know what i need to do now okay i'm gonna have to go the long way around <laughs> the path Never easy. Path to riches. To glory. Oh wait, I'm not getting riches. I'm doing this for sport. I forgot. Path to sport. It's never easy. We like sport, and we don't care who knows. Okay. I know what I Save recently? Uh... There's no po I actually would be in a... Oh, yeah. Up here. Would it be beneficial to go back to a previous save? 
I'm I overrode the previous saves. The previous ones all the way back in Greece. All right, I know where I need to go, and uh, unfortunately, yeah, yeah. I need Seems to... like a long way there. Well, I know I know where the path is now, which is better than me not knowing where the path is before. So. Honestly, it's always every time I reload it, it resets the music cues. Okay, the mystical. So there's two sphinxes. They built a small model, and then they built a larger model of the sphinx. You think one pharaoh, he, like, accidentally used, like, uh, the wrong, like, thing for inches instead of feet? And they got, like, the really tiny sphinx? Is this the bigger or the smaller one? This is the bit slightly bigger one. There was, like, a... This is still way smaller than, like, the actual sphinx, I think. It's and like... this one's underground for some reason. They buried it. Hmm. Okay, not there. Stay here. I know. Hmm. So that way goes all the way around over there. Oh! Oh, okay. Okay, I, I see it now. Go this way. You, 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 have you ever seen Spinal Tap? This is Spinal Tap? No. I'm aware of it. Yeah, the, the Stonehenge bit where they're like, the guys like bring out like a, like a model Stonehenge and they're like, oh, this is the small model and they're like, Oh no! This this is it. You you put that uh, the uh, the napkin said this much, and then they're like, no. It's and then they had like two like uh, like uh, dwarves just dancing around it, and they were like threatening to crush it because it was so small. Huh. Oh, that's gonna be a tricky jump. I'm gonna save it. I feel like I did this section before, but... Oh, no. Oh, yeah, I did this before, but I can... I can navigate my way around. I have no idea if this is the uh, actual method. I think it is. Yep, okay. But it's still making progress. Okay, so then you have these series of big jumps. Yep. I'm now, I'm now watching a video, so I know where you're at. <laughs> Don't spoil it unless I need to. Okay, easily made it. Okay. Almost there. Good thing I saved. The reason why I, like, fuck up there is just because I get impatient. Uh, you don't need to... I don't need to drop? Yeah. Uh... <laughs> Alright, and... jump climb yeah i can't wait for the, i can't wait for a mummy to fucking ambush me which i think is going to happen
Where are you? you oh, it's a block puzzle. Okay. Well, I guess I'll push from this side and see what happens. Okay, nothing. All right. It's not like Zelda. I'm waiting for one of these oh. blocks to fall, like, satisfyingly into a hole, and it's okay. just not going to. Other side. It is not. Well, maybe not in this game. Maybe in another game, I think, something like that happens. What the? That's interesting. What, the lighting? There's two blocks. Oh, no, there's not. No, I'm, I'm being dumb. Okay, climb. And climb. And save. Alright. <laughs> it's so majestic. Oh shit! It's shooting at me, bro! What is it shooting? Just like balls of energy? Is it firing key blasts? It has a it has an arm gun. You guys see it? So majestic, and it, it heard you were making fun of it, so you sh it started shooting at you. Laura Croft, uh, me gunner skin. <laughs> they'd use that. They insist they use the new one, though, not not the old one. Well, they used original Dante. <sighs> yeah. Oh, yeah. They did, didn't they? And then they use also Doom Guy, so anything's possible. What did you get in that room? A key? An onk. Or I, other onk. I have the I have both I have both onks now. I think I see the invisible platform. Where the item is sitting? Yeah. Hmm. You don't need it. No. I think those are Uzis, you get them you get them regardless. Okay. Oh! Another mummy mutant thing. I see you! You're Resident Evil now, boys. I wonder, uh, I wonder which dev recorded those lines. Uh, uh. Alright, great, Mike. Can we get a little more, uh, uh? uh. Can we get, can we hear you say, uh, <laughs> zombie apocalypse, <laughs> or if that's what this game is about. Okay, we're at the top of the, okay, onk one. I think you put in one onk already. No, I, I, that was a different save. I, uh, I died trying to get the, uh, other. Because I didn't realize that there were... I realized there were two of them, and I'm like, oh, fuck. That's cool. That's a cool shot. Alright. You can with... now enter the Sphinx. Enter the Sphinx. That's like... That's like, uh... That, that's an al that's an alternate universe, uh, like martial arts movie. Enter the Sphinx. Okay, not down there. I wonder if there's a Sphinx Sphinx Devil Fruit. A cat Cat Fruit Model Sphinx? Yeah. I, it's just floating there menacingly. Was there a Cat Cat Fruit yet? Zone type? I don't, I don't remember one. Oh. We know there's like those, uh... Oh, that didn't work out. We know there's like those bootleg zone type fruits. So I'm sure we'll see lots of animals soon. Bootleg zone fruit. Bootleg the bootleg. smile. Yeah. 
they have like a, what how what's their success rate there it's like very low right I, I don't remember got a low success rate are alarmingly low I'm not gonna lie Kaido doesn't feel very intimidating he's just kind of a giant dude generic giant from the, the dungeon of doom yeah, his design's not as memorable as other One Piece villains. I get ya. We're approaching 200 saves, by the way. I thought it was. It goes over 100? Oh, we gotta go! Are you ready to swim? Let's go swimming. Okay, before we do that, I gotta save. Because I don't trust that things aren't gonna go wrong. Water pressure means nothing to Laura. No kidding. Just wait. Just wait till she uh, till he dives into the, on, on like the uh, like the bottom of the sea. Okay, are we near the fucking? All right. Uh, seems like we got another uh, another bit of jumping puzzles right now. These levels have consistently been pretty meaty since Midas. Yeah, Midas. I think I think Greece was like the start of the levels, just starting to get like really uh, brutal. The first four levels were basically tutorials. Yeah. And then, what was uh, the first? The first area was Peru, right? Yeah, it was just cave. The first area was just literally called caves, and then teaches you how to explore. And then I still don't think you should be allowed to make a jump like that. But you know, and we got the city of uh, Vilfamba, which was more like in line of like the stuff being like non-linear. Then Lost World was like you got to find this stuff for. To fix the bridge, and I knew about the dogs. <laughs> Stop that! So majestic. Where am I? Fucking, every time I get hit, I hear a quack, and I'm like, god damn. Uh... What? Wait, Flora! Are you out of bounds? No. No, no I, I fell. I wasn't meant to fall here. Did the Can you get back level... up, or do you need to reset? No, because if you fall, and then you... Gonna make a weird jump? I'm gonna have to. Well, darn. Alright. Try that again. Let's go in the other one this time. Oh, it's this room! This room was the. That last room was this room, except it wasn't as flooded. Oh, this is the Sphinx room. This is another room, not the Sphinx room. Okay, this one's shut. Okay, I, I know I know what to do. They want us to. I think I can make it. Some say if you listen closely, you can still hear the cheers of the Romans who visited Egypt. Hmm. <laughs> Oh yeah, when when they when uh, what's his name married Cleopatra or something? Was that Caesar? That was Greek, right? Was, yeah, C Caesar was, Caesar was Roman. Rome. Caesar, okay. Caesar was Rome. Julius Caesar. I watched Cleopatra. I should know this. Oh, you did? 
That was the the second of that like adult anime trilogy. It was oh. the worst of them. Oh, adult anime. Okay, I thought I thought you were talking about the uh, the Hollywood blockbuster Cleopatra. No. Like a money loser. It was the most expensive film like made at the time. Any relation to Caligula? Um, I don't No, because they these were made by different like studios. Okay, come on, run, buddy. Yeah, you better run. Come on, you coward. Okay. All right, we're here where we need to be now. Drop. I could do a running jump, but that seems risky. For a... I could try to dive in the water, but that seems like really risky, and I don't know if, if the game intends me to do that. Okay. What? Oh, I thought there was health over here. Whatever. Don't. It really. This game really doesn't want me to just go on their noses for whatever reason. Okay. And. Uh, risky. Not gonna try it. You know what? I'll save it and I'll see what happens. What are you trying happens. to do? Are you trying to get down? I'm trying to get down, yeah. There's nowhere else to go from up here. Well, then why does up here exist? It's a uh, it's a way to uh, get back into this room from up high, uh, while the water re level resets. Because this is the same room as before. It's just that now the water level is lower, which probably means that that other door is open. Okay, drop. Okay, whatever. I've been really good about, like, uh, either... I'm not, like, overflushed with med packs, but I haven't really... You haven't been wasting them? No, I, I feel like I am, but at the same time, I'm not... Okay. Hmm. Interesting. I'm close to the end. I can feel it, but... Now I'm curious as to... It goes up here. Nowhere else to go from down here. Up here. I'm up this room. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna try that again. And I'm gonna look around this time without that uh, without that gargoyle attack on me. And I don't know if that's what it's actually called. Oh, what? I made that jump before. All right. There seems to be, like, uh, for this game, some kind of, like... Uh... Like, wiggle room for, like, approaching ledges at an angle. Yeah. I don't, but I, I think it's, like, not as forgiving as you think. It's, like, some wiggle room, but... Apparently, the the nose is buggy such that if you take a running jump onto it, she'll bang into an invisible wall and then fall into the water without any damage. Oh, that's cool. Useful to... The oh. nose drop. Nose drop. Nose drip. Nasal, post-nasal drip. Hmm. Interesting. I'm meant to be climbing on these, but where am I going? Do you want a hint? Yeah, please. There is a switch on one of these statues. 
Okay, cool. So somewhere on the bodies of these statues. Oh, on the bodies. Not like on top, but like... <laughs> All right, then. So... Climb down. Close. Same fucking thing. All right. If the water level's like this, I can just... No, can't. I hope I get sucked like she smashed her head on the stone. Wasn't pleasant, no. Okay. There's ammo here. I presume when the, when you say switch, you mean like uh, just a... Uh... Yeah, probably. Another one. There it is! Nice and safely tucked away. Okay, so I need to drain that water level anyway to, uh, yeah. Alright. That must be easy to operate. You just one hands at every one of these. She's strong as shit! She moved those, like, giant stone blocks! I don't know what's going to happen, and, and I think there's, like, some final entity or something. <sighs> quack. <laughs> quack. Quack, It's high noon. Yep, that sure is a stairway. <laughs> you like spirals? Is uh, Ganon at the top? The organ organ music intensifies. It's it's a ball. It's the scarab from before. Oh, there! Oh my God! Usually, I would expect picking up an artifact to trap you, not allow you to progress. Damn it. <sighs> this is like. I, I like how it had a celebratory. <sighs> <sighs> I got clopped. Oh, you got your magnums? Yeah, I was using my magnums. Couldn't you tell from the, uh... Pew, 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 pew. She is strong as shit. She's able to control the recoil on these presumably, like, heavy-duty... The, uh, slow-mo guys have been doing videos with, uh... Some some arms YouTube channel. Oh, uh, and uh, yeah. I think oh. Dan fired like the biggest recoil gun that exists. Oh yeah, the uh, the uh, what was it, Tyrannosaurus or whatever. Yeah, that yeah one. that one. That and you can see the bullet just drop immediately. Yeah, I saw that one. That guy is like incredibly lucky. He survived uh, like an ex like a fifty BMG just exploding on, on him. I'm gonna guess that, like, they spawn in immediately. Yeah, see, they're not there. Can you back off and they'll follow you towards the hallway? That'd be... That wouldn't really accomplish a whole lot. It would it'd funnel them, but... Look at her. Look at her go face. Yeah. I got one of them. 
access control. How you deal with groups? <laughs> funnel. The uh the the mutant funnel. Alright, come on, Centaur. What's wrong? You too big? Centaur I can just take up. Oh, he's hiding. Go up here. Centaur! There he is! Not only can she handle the recoil, she can perform elaborate acrobatics while doing so. She missed her calling as like some kind of like assassin or special ops operative or something. Is that the boss of the of this uh level? Hope so. Oh, more there's more, okay. Whatever. Is there, was there anything up those stairs? That was uh, that was where I went. We circled back. Mm -hmm. Okay. I was worried the final boss was going to be a duck. Quack. Well, this seems like a final boss room, or uh, a boss room rather. I still got a pain in my brain from you. And it's telling me funny ideas now, like to shoot you to hell. Hey, it's Larson. Okay. I'm killing him with his friends, uh, like, uh, Magnums. He seemed unconcerned for a long time. Also, his head is just kind of... I got him. What a senseless waste of human life. <laughs> yeah, magnums just melt through people pretty uh, easily. That felt like the longest of the three. Yeah. Uh, areas? Or levels? Uh, uh, three uh, levels. No, Greece was definitely felt like the longest. So we had five levels this time. Should be a more brisk three levels next time. Yep. Hopefully. Yeah, but... First, I need to go to the next level so we can save. And that is an FMV, so uh, be aware of that. All right, bracing. Brace for audio. <gasps> you just pulled the tough end of a wishbone. Howdy. Afternoon. Left Larson sucking wind then, eh? If that is the phrase. Well, your little vacation riot's over now. Time to give back what you've hijacked off me. Let's try the lunchbox. <clears throat> well, kill her! Hey!
got to learn to chill. I'm going back inside. You coming? Ready yet? All right. <laughs> so that's so that happened. <laughs> Matla looks like the bad guy from Casper. All right. Uh, before before we uh, we leave, uh, you notice something we're missing. Your guns. Yeah, this is the no gear level. So that that's nice how we. Feet. That is how we'll begin the next level of uh, <laughs> of the next uh, session of Tomb Raider is just us doing that. That's gonna be fun. So uh, that was uh, that was uh, Tomb Raider. We got one more stream of it, and uh, then I will be done with this game. And uh, yeah. We'll move on to so, some... uh, probably be probably be able to get to it next weekend. Yeah, we'll uh, see. And, and then we'll and then we'll take a break from the series. We'll do something you want to do, and then uh, hopefully after that we can do Tomb Raider two. I like I I want to play through the original. That's my goal. Yeah. So. All right. Thank you guys for watching. See you next time. See you next time.